Got playoffs in Chengdu. Now they find themselves in playoffs here okay. in Malta. Let's it's very see. good. And they're top 20 in the world after this, right? That's like, right? As of today, I think they're top 20, which is for the first time in a long time. Um, we're off to the races. It is going to be a good game, I reckon. Team Liquid on the CT side. You'd assume it's FlyQuest pick, which it is. And uh, Dexter with the smoke, the Molotov, and Kevlar otherwise. So it's going to be a bit of a brawl of a round. Yeah, I'm going to be intrigued to see what form Yukinda is in. Bit of a win condition for Liquid is Yukinda's sharp aim in terms of especially that T side. Not there yet. Starting on the defense. It's Yukinder actually first to be tested. He's tucked into ladder. And they're not in any hurry here. FlyQuest now starting to make oh. moves. The goosh, it's Yukinder. Oh, yeah. Strings together, quick double deck towards window. There's the bomb on ins. He okay. had to hit that shot. Now things will slow down. Pressure from Leah. Boys. Don't need to commit to this, and they, they are thinking twice about it, but Dex's flank might lull them in. It's going to be a bit of a, ball, a brawl. Wait, they're still going B. The bomb's trying to come through short. This is a big problem. Oh, Cadence will pass them in the smoke, a 2v2. Nas found one, but on the other side of the smoke is Cadian. Not ready for this now at all. Perfectly manipulated. It's all onto Dexter. They know where he is. Doesn't have health. Oh, up. A single bullet will do it. Dexter down as he transitions. It's going to be a liquid round. And yeah, your kinder starting off with the double. It was yeah. looking good for a second, but actually turned out to be the worst possible outcome. Yes, no bomb planted. Uh, no one really making a dent. And now it's going to have to be either a force buy or the full eco, Chad. I think it'll be the full eco. And I think it's curious to see FlyQuest picking into this. I actually thought they were going to lean in towards Anubis. I spoke to Zeus as he was printing out his papers at the printer station. Okay. He said, yeah, we were prepared for Anubis. Uh, thought that they were either going to pick Mirage or Anubis. And because we had prepped, for it, we thought we might as well pick it ourselves. So that's going to be map number two. But wow. I feel the issue for FlyQuest, if you're picking into this map, if you think you're going to play a technical game of Counter-Strike against Liquid, nice you might have another thing coming because they can just disrespect you. Twist, Naf, Yakinda, they eat players like you for breakfast. You need to be ready to brawl from the outset. Well, a sign of things to come. Cadian stampeding towards top of middle. Doesn't quite work out for him. The first kill of the round in favor of FlyQuest will be the P250 of Inns. So uh, just hoping they can get one more out of this, but uh, ultimately the round is over. We'll uh, I like the, I like where you're going with that though. That framing of just liquid R. <laughs> they know they're better. One hundred percent. That they're going to act like it until you prove otherwise. Uh, Henry, you remember back in the day when you were sure. going up against absolute scrubs. You know you're not going to play. Oh, well, I say you're not going to. You don't, you don't respect them straight exactly. away. You're you're taking more ego peaks. Yep. You're going to challenge, make them feel uncomfortable. Anything they've got in mind, disrupt their defaults. Make sure they can't execute. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure you're going to see a lot of that, especially on Mirage as well. The CT side, you have a lot of options to push around the map, whether it's in Palace, A Ramp, Top Middle, B Apartments, you can be everywhere. And uh, especially players like Cadian, very dynamic with the AWP. We'll see whether he wants to pick up the pace early. Here comes the first gun round, I suppose, with the AKs. And very important for FlyQuest in the conversation we were just having to either get a round on the board or get the yeah. bomb down and make this close. This is a very important round if they meant to go forward with anything competitive. Let's see where we're going with it. Is there aggression for the CT side? Cadian leaps him towards the window. Smoked off. We'll give it a bit of a spam. Oh! And actually is punished for it. Clean from Dexter. Beautiful work. You see Cadian, uh, sorry, uh, as I jumble my words. That smoke was different. He wasn't able to find a gap through it with the tap. True, yeah. Nice from your kinder back. He controls the spray, finds the head of Vexite on the third. A CT smoke lands to your kinder safe. Leah's searching apps. There is no one holding actively Barn Naf. There's a potential for some space to be found. But things are going to slow down completely. Separated our fly quest. I feel like Twist and Yakinda after that smoke clears, or they've actually redeployed. I thought they might start to clear, like, and confidently take some jewels. And they still will. Skulls is around window. Now that smoke's actually landed. That could change things. So still quite a few bodies from Liquid focused towards mid, but the bomber's rerouted. Now over towards Palace. You're going to have Dexter coming up the ramp and the late piece of Liaz through underpass. And it's a bit of a retake situation as well for Team Liquid on A. It's just skulls oh. there. What a smoke that is though, Chad. And the time. It might just have to go through and hope for the best here. Go for the contact. I think that's what they're going for. Yes, indeed. Spotted. They've actually done quite well. They've, they've got out. They've broken through. Inskip Molly him. It's coming. Skulls. Forced into the opening. That's nothing for it. Yeah, it's actually overwhelming there for Skulls. Oh. Great teamwork. Yeah. Like that. We heard Dexter in the interview saying it's not a bad peak if there's a flash. That's true. And that's a not a bad peak with the flash. Could still go wrong. Look at twists. Yeah. Alistair tarts in on default. Inz is going to be the first responder. Oh, he's not expecting this at all. Jump for the info. Oh, Alistair. Oh, he's going to be safe from the nade. 2v2. Time ticking. Leah still disconnected from the play. <laughs> Brave from Alistair to stand into the line of fire. Now Nav 
He's not really in a prime position to do anything with this. And you said you had to be competitive, Chad. How is taking the round and taking four of Liquid down? Yeah, beautiful work. It all started with a Dexter kill through the smoke on Acadian. Henry, I don't know about you, but do you feel like Skulls misplayed that situation? He was very, he played very scared. I feel like he was the worst of both worlds. As soon as the Molotov lands, you either take the instant swing or you fall back in a tree and hold for the, ret uh, for the retake in general. Like he didn't really get anything going there. He burned for a second, then swings out. Very difficult fight. I think just staying alive might have been the better choice. You're playing retake anyway, right? Um, whether he misplayed it, I'm not so sure. But yeah, I'd like to see him re retreat at the very I, least. I'm surprised he didn't challenge as he saw the players coming out of apps through the gray screen as well, because it, I thought he had the jump. Yeah, I think he was caught off guard by that uh, first player and unable to find Definitely anything. not as confident as some of the twisters in that position. You know he's taking the challenge yeah, as soon as he gets right? Oh, straight into an A execute. But this is a good response from Liquid. Multiple bodies, close A ramp. They could shut this down. Double nave might dissuade them, though. They notice two players close to the ramp at the very least. We'll see if that changes the outcome of the execution. Problem is, they've got no one towards top and middle. They've lost control of the map in that respect. Through we go, and that's yes, going to be a disappointing start. We have got <gasps> some traction. Vexite makes it out, but it's all starting to fall apart here. The round that was looking quite promising is starting to unravel at the seams. It's Alistair and Liaz left outside. Uh, they've deployed all the utility, they've got a few flashbangs, there's a five on two. Not looking too good, lads. Almost worst case scenario, isn't it? Yeah. They have to do some damage with these remaining rifles. A kill or two, I, I would say three feels mandatory. And that's the problem when you have all five players uh, dedicated to the execution at the start. You are pressured to execute within the first 20 seconds. You have no idea who's pushing the apartments behind you, middle, and allowing the rotations to come through. So they kind of did have to go, but yeah, it doesn't work out. But if you make a call like that, you're assuming that the CTs are going to play heavy mid, maybe yeah. even mid control. If you're going to go for a full A execute, they might not get anything here. Fortunately, Liaz will get on the board with the Galil. Just the MP9 he takes down. Thankfully, Skull's got a couple of kills with it, so he's got 1,200 farms. AK, I suppose, could be recovered at this point, but uh, I think you're right. I think it'll just be looking to try and take a few players down with him if possible. Here comes Liaz. Kadian lying in wait on the bomb site. Like we said, a couple of flashes available to him. Just one more kill would be a relative success. Not going to happen, as Twist confirms a very clean rebuttal there for Team Liquid. The MP9 is doing work. Bit of a PSA for everybody playing and, uh, well, I guess watching at home. Uh, we do have both sets of games being played in the A stream environment. Whereas last right. week during the A and the B stream, uh, the B stream games were downstairs. Right now, the B stream games are taking place on the same stage. So if you do hear cheers and jeers that don't really match up with what you're seeing on the screen, that is the 3D Max versus G2 game, which is currently underway. And you should probably squad stream that. Go and check that out. Watch all the games at once. As yeah, oh, couldn't have been a better time. It's a technical I, issue. And I'm going to use this uh, time as they're uh, just uh, approaching some tech issues with uh, pulling up the B stream because I, I think it, I, it sounded like French cheers and it looks like it might be. Obviously, it's Ooh. just started. No spoilers, but 3D Max on the first map of this best of three. <laughs> Well, yesterday's anything to go by. Anything can and will four, happen. Henry. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like uh, 3D, 3D Max is actually a decent little team. Yeah. Uh, the new look of them as well, they could definitely uh, make G2 very uncomfortable. That's going to be an exciting game. We'll definitely keep our finger on the pulse of that one. We got some more pictures of jeans here. Henry. Let's have a look. Not the most visible, that one. That's like a, more of a knee. And but, studying. Uh, and studying. Doing some homework. His Scriv. Scriv's got his jeans on. Oh, Scriv. That looks great. Yeah. Uh, those are, that's a classic. Are those neon jeans, green, green slides? They, that... they do, do wow, appear to respect be. Respect to yep. the slide game. Yeah, yeah, yeah guys, if you're not, you know, well, type in exclamation mark charity, I believe. You can get the link to donate to Henry Jeans Day. Uh, we're raising jorts. money for Gamers Outreach. And there's some jorts there right yeah, now. Okay. Let me just check if that is the right. Thank you. Yeah, exclamation mark charity. Okay, great. I'll see where we're at with the uh, telethon. Started, started off as a meme, now genuinely a charity drive. Up to five hundred and sixty-one dollars. Hey, might as well challenge, channel all that silliness into something. I love it. I love it. Because I'm sure some people got a bit sick of it, all the genery. Well, so, uh, wait to do till we have the the charity day for hands. <laughs> the giant hands. Giant hands day. Hey, Awareness. Titus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in we go. Eco. Oh, oh Kadian. Oh, dead. Yeah, you might get a plant out of this if you're lucky. He spotted him. He oh. spotted him. He's got it Great. down. That is huge. You'll take that any day of the week. That's a golf clap scenario if yeah. you're the coach of FlyQuest, a.k.a. Good plant, lads. Good plant. You guys seen Gomez trotting around with the boys? I have. I did on Isn't day that one. a blast from the past? Yeah, it really is. What, is he like the, the manager? Yeah. Or? Okay, nice. Yeah. Good lad. You're... you're yeah, Old back in the Vox, Vox, days, Vox days, into Renegades. He was with them for a while, even when they went to 100 Thieves. So Chris has been around the traps. Good to see him back. 
Four to one though, FlyQuest, not off to a fly up, but uh, still, we've got the first like real gun round here. We've got the orbs on either side, AKs across the board, uh, in both respects, we've really got Nap for the AK-47 as well, who's currently five and zero. You don't want to let that guy get into his zone. See how that one develops. He's got dual elites, all the utility he could ask for. They're looking very healthy on the liquid side. Twists. No smoke towards window this time, Chad. We're going to see... Oh, they missed the vision. molly. Yeah, they went for the, the molly towards window, but it had detonated midair, so... Slight issue, but look at this. Vexide's already down towards connector. Has to make a play. Nobody oh, he's doing can't. the play. Oh. Trying to approach window. He's thought twice about it. Probably quite, a good dig. He, quite wise. Look, at, look how many bodies are around here. Oh, can't Perfectly timed. Win. Okay, he goes down. Nice response. Round still on here. It's the Ekandar, though. It's being a real nuisance towards Shaw. Ducking and weaving around the smoke. Trying to find the next kill. Chad said it's going to be a brawly game. A lot of aggression in the CTs, but it's being thwarted. Next up, answers back, but back and forth we go indeed. Alistair should be able to get this kill, no problem. Nice. Connects it well, and in towards the B-bomb side he goes. Real opportunity for Ali now. He can just post up. He is overlooking oh, the possibility. Damn. But boys, look at the bomb. Look where the bomb is. Oh. So, so the B's not the finish. Liaz needs to get back, pick up the bomb. Ins needs lock to in. cover off the rotations. This is a free kill. There you nice go. Shot. 1v2 situation. Bomb to be scoops. Kadian, a bit of a yes. crush master. A mirage as well. At Pro League. Well, Kadian will be towards ticket. There's a bad timing for Liaz. A very bad timing. Uh, this goes horribly no, he, wrong. He gets ahead of it just about right. Think he's fine. Uh, Think not he's if fine. he plants open, he's in the open. And the clutch is taking shape for Cadian. That's the plant. Oh, damn. Cadian so ahead of the play. This 1v2 is taking shape. Inz, he's been no slouch for FlyQuest, but with 14 seconds, he just has to hit one shot onto an AWPA. Oh, Cadian oh, oh. down. Huge from Inz. He has been fantastic all has. tournament long. And sure, Henry, you listed off the teams that they did beat. They're not household names. They're not. A couple of them were lacking key pieces and pulling the academy in to make the five work. But regardless, Inz has been a beast. He's been the like top 10 of the stats, right? Well, the fact that he's been unshackled from in-game leadership duties, he was doing that when Dexter was no longer part okay. of the team over on his little Euro trip. Yeah. You know, <laughs> seeing those hussies over at Mouse and Fnatic. But now that he's home, he's taking the reins. Yeah. Oh, Inz is shining bright. That's a hell of a clutch as well. Difficult one to win. You're under pressure. You've got 10 seconds. You're up against the Orbicadian, and he just bops him. Break their bank with a round win here. Yeah, this is the one. They're going to have a real decent run at the T side on Mirage. This round has to be converted. Good start. Kadian down to 35, but so is Vexite. We'll have to retreat. And once again, it's Yekindar trying to dominate his mid position, applying so much pressure with the utility. Constant bombardment of grenades, damage through smokes. Vexite really needs to get going. T-side, yeah. aggression, that's where he usually does his best work. Currently sitting at 0 and 6, but also the youngest buck in the roster. Not a huge amount of experience for him. There's some information. Naf. Sorted out by Ints. With round presence show, and that'll keep some boots on the ground. Naf was restrained with his smoke. Still two CT smokes to block as we reach that 50 second mark. Walking out through the unders, it's Twists and Yakinda. This is the setup, and now one of those smokes has just about landed. Yeah, good economy of utility, but FlyQuest still have a lot of their own remaining. Here we go, key jewel towards the connector. Twist could get caught off guard here. Text up with the swing and the conversion. Good wall back. Takes down a key piece, a couple of them to here. And now Skulls, nothing he can do. Now the final boss. Six and one currently, good flashbangs to deny the, the swing, and he's burning to a crisp. This is a great round from FlyQuest. Highly convincing. Dexter even leaving with his third frag. Cadian Zor. Yes, gets this. Ooh, miss on both parts. Can be impressive if Cadian gets away with his orb here. He's already being hunted from behind. Hot on his heels is Liaz. And Cadian. He loses it all. That's a big round for FlyQuest with four alive. You take five down. And you close it to just a one-round game. Okay. Well, not only is it a one-round game, it's Team Liquid that has to be on an eco. Loss bonus going into the next should be at that 2400 mark. So they have to take a save in this one. Their next gun round's not going to look great. This is really good stuff for FlyQuest early to stay competitive. They've been able to keep all those bodies alive to start working on that T-side economy. Nice! Yeah, it wasn't too convincing for Twister. Gets completely railed by the Galil. Didn't have the helmet and... Really paid the price, has to be the full eco now. Well, let's hold on tight for a round like this, shall we? Yeah. Uh, 
There's, there's been a lot of this this season. These yeah. antics? Yeah, a lot of USP rounds going in favor of the defenders. It's going to be a bit of an A stack as well. Three players towards jungle. Do you feel that this would be pretty condemning for Liquid to lose to FlyQuest? That's the question, isn't it? I think realistically, uh, I, for the future of Liquid, probably. Are we still but giving them more time? Or? Well, I would say that they have up until the player break anyway. Okay. I imagine if there are going to be lots of roster changes around the player break, they should look to make some regardless. I think there's too many passive players on this Liquid roster. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I think that if Team Liquid win this, they play against Astralis. And yeah. you get Cadian versus Stown and Yabby. You get Astralis versus Liquid, which is a fabled duel. Uh, and we get all the drama. I don't think this Liquid could hold a candle to the Astralis team. No, the right new now. Astralis is sick. They would sick. absolutely own them. The new Astralis team is probably my favorite team to watch at the moment. Yeah, same. I love them. They're, they're so good. And uh, so good. Um, and yeah, I feel like Team Liquid, sure, that if they're okay, nothing really to get that excited about. When they win a game, you're like, oh, they actually did it. They didn't, yeah. they didn't crumble, they didn't choke, they like, didn't go horribly wrong. Um, no disrespect, it just doesn't seem to be coming together for them whatsoever. No, I mean, like Chad already alluded to it in terms of there just being uh, maybe a mis misalignment of roles. Very low opening duel attempts. It, it was exciting on paper again, though. Right. For sure. Uh, I, it but always I think is. The blending of all the different styles of Counter Strike, maybe missing a beat or two. It's not. I've heard it multiple times when it comes up in conversation that bo multiple players on Liquid have said something to, to in of the in the air of. There's a lot of voices. There's a lot of cooks in the kitchen, and yeah. imagine that clash of that where I this is the best idea, and your conclusion is this is the best idea, and then yeah, not conducive with the same results. I can imagine that gets difficult. This is difficult for Vexite, as again, he starts his, his round with 30 HP. I feel like it's not the first time. Yakinda's played very confidently over towards this oh, short yeah. position. He's trying to bully him as much as possible. Taking a lot of duels. Alistair needs to search on towards A. Skull's on his lonesome for now. Cadian's rotated back to help out. Also twists and, oh, that's a freebie. Nice. He'll give that one away. Yeah, well, to be fair, FlyQuest have had a few of their own through the smoke, so finally it's Team Liquid answering back. They've got a, a rare advantage now, a 4-4 overall. Next frag could decide the round. Huge miss from Ali, oh. cost them a couple of kills. And Dexter, Vexite, nothing really left to do here, especially with Vexite. Hopefully he can slip the net over towards B, maybe get a backstab going on, but there's no rotation just yet from Nath, who's holding strong towards the bench for now. These are the miserable rounds, right? You, you're going to lose it and you really didn't put up a fight. We saw this earlier on the half when they lost the double MP9s close towards ramp. Right. You, you, you hate these ones because it kind of sucks all the oxygen out of the room. You need to bounce back. You start to allow them to stabilize again and you have to start climbing up. Right? All these rounds are obviously connected. If you could do a bit more damage, and that's not going to happen. Nah, that's a sit-up, puts it in. Vexite dead, just Dexter, 39 seconds on the clock in a 1v5 situation. Come on, Dexter, you got this. The bomb's on his back. He might even save. Yeah, I think he has to. He's got 6k, full belt of utility. It is the best case scenario, isn't it? You're not going to do anything or get much further than that. Dexter keeps a full belt. Yeah, yeah his, the value of his equipment is more than the money he'd get. So he might, might as well save. 10 seconds. And indeed, we'll be holding on as he sits at the bottom of the palace. But yeah, the, 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 those rounds are going to happen, but I would argue oh, they probably... Oh, he's solo. Oh. No, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> at least it was an aftertime. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, you know, we look for the little things around here. That's but why they we can't brought Harry's hand. <laughs> Very small hands, that man. We Even though mine are smaller, but... It is crazy that in that duo, they have eSports' biggest and smallest hands. Yeah. <laughs> Get every award. single time Hugo's hands. Well, FlyQuest might catch some hands here towards middle once again. It's Yekandar who has been aggressive, relentless almost. Time and time again, it's Kadian this time with a spam and Vexite down to 50 points of help once more. Lord. Can't catch a break, but Alistair certainly can. That's a nice shot with the AWP. Brings it back into the round and with a man advantage, no less. Is there any responsive aggression from Team Liquid? Not at the moment. Twist towards window. Yakinda short. Skulls. He's floating over towards connector now, so they might want to try and pincer. Up... Now, what was that? Was that from 3D Max? Oh, it yes. is. They're high-fiving a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. A shriek almost. There you are. You can have a little glance at the scoreline. Oh, yeah. I told you. Not on Henry Jean's day of all days. Of all days. 
You can't be doing that. They've got a boatload of rounds against G2. Indeed. It's new. It's new. It's new. Oh, Vex ah, sites. But your Kinder on no. He had an opportunity there to He's convert did. that one. They have a good idea that the fight is coming towards connector. Twist and Skulls both reside. Yakinda still towards short. This is going to be a biff towards middle in the next few seconds as the smoke starts to fade, Alex. Nice work into the site. 2v3. Lias has that bomb and moving. Naf from jungle. Only one that can contribute, giving Yakindas under the flames. And now you're Naf under the thumb. Forced away by the flames, and they've done enough. Kicking their way up connector. Alistair's orb. Leading them straight into a fifth round to keep things they, nice and level. They've done two rounds like that where they've had like two to three players come through either underpass to get to connector or through middle to connector and just brute force their way in. So there's a winning recipe for FlyQuest. Yeah, every time they've tried ramp or palace, it's gone terribly, but mid seems to be the answer, the remedy. It's a pretty massive round for them to pick up. Yekandar and Naf. No option but to save once again. Yekandar's actually got a nice position though. Should be able to catch Alistair. Don't with the AWP at, at the very oh, least. Yeah, it's gone. Yikes. Are they going to be able to get it back? Inz is close. No, sorry, that's Liaz is close enough to be able to grab that. Should be able to do so. Bomb goes off or retrieved. Lost bonus. There is enough for Liquid to buy yet again. So we have two more rounds remaining in the half. Now, it's quite clear FlyQuest have taken control in the later stages of this. They've had four out of the last five rounds played. Great opener from Alistair. And then playing it out more mid-round together. These setups, as soon as they pick multiple bodies, FlyQuest are punishing some of the Team Liquid tendencies at the moment. Last couple of rounds, tactical timeout deployed from FlyQuest. Still got a decent amount of cash on the Liquid side, saving the AK and the M4. Man, Counter-Strike could get so sick if we get, you know, Oceania and Asia genuinely competing at the, the highest level in the next couple of years. Yeah, I don't know how we would do it locally without a massive injection of cash into those regions. Uh, for me, if we were able to, and visas is the biggest issue for yes. this, but back when I was playing, when Renegades or 100 Thieves lived in America, it, and they had all the Brazilian teams there as well, right? If you had the Brazilian teams, the North American teams, Australian teams, and Asian teams all as other competing you, in North that America, grind. grind their way up, and yeah. then we could actually go to war with the Europeans and give them a fair That's crack. not a bad shout. That would be cool. But the issue is visas in America, which is always very tough. Well, here we go then. At least trying his luck I again. Pretty impressive so far. Well, now really misses though, unfortunately. I was really hoping he was going to convert that so he back up the, the window claim. Molly again. You can just go in for it. And he's managed to find one. No trade potential. There's another body drops. Twist is cleared out Dexter. He knows it's the orb there. And Ali completely <laughs> unprepared. Just gets owned. I think maybe he thought your kinder would actually dart back towards connector and cut him off at the pass. They've missed this window, Molly Flyquest, a couple right. of times. Yeah. That's a really big deal. It's giving them so much space and they've got to deal with multiple angles. They can't find a moment's respite. Yekindar finally taken down though. Inz is a strong unit of the Flyquest outfit. If Lias doesn't just go down here, they actually have a decent conversation. Lias and Inz in the clutch. Lias, not bad at this whatsoever. Inz will be prepared for a maneuver like this. You can see how quizzical he is. He's got him. Dead to rights. Ooh, oh, such a massive kill. Uncrouch. How has he nailed that so cleanly? Okay. Smoke down as well. They know exactly where Liaz is. They've locked him out. But he has got lots of utility and time to work with here. A couple of flashes. The HE could pop the smoke, I suppose. But I don't think he'll go for that play. He'll wait for it to dissipate. Well, this is the thing as well. Twist doesn't even have to play the bomb. He could have rerouted knowing the smoke's up. Wow. There you go. That's... Now you know there's a player still in B-holes, don't you? <sighs> what a horrible feeling that is for Liaz. Just hearing that Molotov land. And now Twist dropped back. Right? You... He's also given away his position, so telegraphing with utility. Kadian can just nestle down in the site. Oh, they're pinning him in. Oh, yeah, his options are... So he doesn't even have time anymore. You're right. They've, they've outplayed him. They've, they've outplayed them. And it's twist frag, as you said, onto ins that really turned that one into an impossible scenario for Liaz. Down he goes. It's twist with a third. It's good to see Mr. Van Dolken online as FlyQuest. In pursuit of a sixth, but not with an idyllic cash fund. Yeah, that would have gone either way, right? If Liquid had saved again, sure, maybe we would have been having a different conversation. But if FlyQuest had won the round and wiped the board, it would have been Liquid staring down the barrel of a messy buy. But FlyQuest, with only the min loss bonus coming into the bank balance, is going to leave them with MAC-10s, Tech-9s. 
Well, the AX execute they did before didn't work, Henry. Where do you turn? <sighs> You're still doing some on execution. I'd say this maybe in towards the B side of things and just go for the same sort of idea. Drop the smokes towards uh, shorts, window kitchen. Try and get everyone through. We'll see if that's uh, the methodology. That's is it an A voice. fake? It could be an A fake into I think a B right. play. I think that's exactly what it is. So fake out to try and get a rotation going You need here. a kill on ins. He's the perfect man for the job. And he's already 20 HP. And we're going in, creeping into B. Oh, it's worked. It's actually worked, Jack. rotating. He's gone. They've taken the bait. Hook, Hook line, line and sinker, sinker baby! Alistair, long range with the AK as well, gets the job done. They've breached the B bomb site. And now he's got the MP9. He can't challenge. He needs his teammates to arrive. There's no point of access. Skulls are still on A, worried about that piece, that fake. On, There's Skulls. nobody there. They've completely right, rotated right. away. Look at their health. Though. They've done it. All <gasps> shots been Twisted hit. Twisted see him, but In's caught the info. Okay, so the flank is going to work out well. Twist will be late flanked. It's not, it's not great with the Tech 9, but Twist's now poking his nose up short. They'll be aware of it. He's even considering ins on the late flank. Wow. 4v4, late retake. They do not have much health. Wow. Ali's got the orb. Naf onto Liaz. Two in B apps is bad. It is. Is there side in a prime position, pushing the smoke, trying to control the spray. He pulls across the line now, just repositioning if he can go off the defuse. Oh. He's doing it. He's doing it. Covered by Canadian. It's 7 to 5 on the half. Team Liquid. They stabilize the half. Leave with the lead on FlyQuest pick.
gentlemen, you are of course watching ESL Pro League, where we're celebrating International Henry Jeans Day. If you'd like to get involved and show us a nice pair of denim trousers, uh, make sure you tap an exclamation mark charity to find out how we can raise money for Gamers Outreach, a very worthy charity. Um, but, but without further ado, boys, Team Liquor versus FlyQuest. Bit of a banger so far. Not quite down the middle, but seven to five. Enough to work with, Chad, on the Australian side of yeah, things. Yeah, FlyQuest were competitive. Uh, a few unforced, well, actually, no, uh, a few errors yeah, uh, with Mr. Utility. I'm not sure how badly it would have cost them, but it's not a hugely positive sign. Now, two players towards B. That's going to be Liaz and Vexite to defend against this because oh, guess what? Classic. Liquid are coming. Yeah. yeah. Two smokes, three players making their way through. The bomb at the back. Party at the front. Let's see if they can do anything with this Vex and Liaz need to be sharp shooters, and they've managed to whistle away at Twists. Behind the smoke now, another body shows up. It's in towards Kitchen. And oh, he's been forced off of the line as well. Rotation through. Alistair arrives. Dexter late to the party. It's big from Liaz to find another head through the smoke. Takes down Skull. Oh, oh, still oh. yet to plant. And oh. a big one back from They're in. They're going to chase down Liaz with the bomb. They could go towards A if they get this kill. He's being tested. Oh, he overlooked the off potential. We Here we go. They've all just flooded in towards the site. Uh, oh. Liaz needs to be screaming there on oh. the other way. KD can control the rotations. Oh. Naf can plant the bomb. It's got such a nice spot, is it? Well, they have to go through CT spawn, presumably. Is Inns noisy? Will KD hear this? He has. He looks away. Not even you would not expect no him way. to just let his teammate go and plant. There's no way you would have expected that. Now it's really uncomfortable. You do at least have a kit. But no two smoke. of them long range planted for them. This is shaped up so nicely for a Team Liquid turnaround. Losing both pistols would be quite condemning for FlyQuest. Already the goosh has been hit. Nice Hello. fight from Dex. The long range duelies. Ali needs to get on the defuse eventually. He is going to start to hold it. Cadian's running out of bullets. And the cover from Dexter is phenomenal. Long range jewels. That's not easy with the jewel Beretta. Yeah, uh, I, look, that was my concern, but I guess the fact he didn't have to reload pop, pop, really came pop, in to help because you saw the, the USP running out of ammo and connector. But that move from Cadian essentially could have been round winning. You're Speed letting Naf plant. Still could have a massive knock True, they did get the bomb down. They, that was the main objective. Sure, yes. got a little bit uncomfortable. The bomb going down in any capacity really is a victory. Because uh, now, if you do win this follow up round, it's even more damning than actually. Uh, losing the pistol itself. Very so true. It's a big if when you take a look at this. M4s, Famas, even a scout on Ali. How do you fumble up against what is two smokes and five Galils? Well, I guess it depends on what the setup looks like and where Team Liquid are looking for the finish. At the moment, it's very light on middle. They're essentially giving up full control. If you take a look at the radar top left-hand side of your screen, you can see how burrowed down on B they are. Alistair towards ticket slash triple with the scout. Dexter close A ramp. It's just really ins tending to this. So Liquid, if they understand they have a lot of free space, which Yakinda does, they can apply so much pressure early. A minute 20, full mid control? Yeah, you're right. They've got so much to work with here. They can boost players up and towards window, get control of the connector, and it's Alistair patrolling of a scout. It's like, sure, he has the potential to get some tags off, maybe a headshot or two, but now you've got five Galil in your direction. There's the latter, fortunately, for FlyQuest. We've got a player towards Palace that could be Skulls, but Alistair not afraid of these jaws. He looked like Neither he was certain info. to get a second one. Good intel, regardless, and Vexite pushing him towards B apartments, hunting for a bit himself as they start to surround the A bomb site here, slowly but surely encroaching towards ends. Dexter spending all of his money on no nades but the A4. He's got 30 bullets. He's lingering towards ramp. And it does make planting very difficult. That's a big jewel for they the have to know he's Okay, here's Dexter. Oh! Announces his presence with the double kill. Maybe even a triple if he could tame the spray. Skulls a big frag back. And Yakinda's still ready for Vexite. He knows you wow. have to leave B. Great awareness from Yakinda and Liaz. An uncomfortable clutch. I think there's a, maybe a kid on the bombsite floor. Dexter had one. No, it was Alistair who had one. Okay, well, now it gets interesting. Holding and faking the 10 seconds. Well, now you know. Now yeah, you know. He doesn't know. Skulls is going to push in. An opportunity. Now he's throwing it away. That was a chance. Where is the that kit? It's a ticket. I'm pretty sure it's a ticket. Yeah, I think you're right. Round's over, though. Oh, loses everything. Yeah, you yep, just there saw it. Is. it. There I, it is. I think, I think Dexter went to do too much. The first two kills were great, but he couldn't play with the rest of his teammates with going for that next fight. And there it is, Henry. You said, you know, even though you won the pistol, bomb goes down, you lose the follow-up, you're in a bit of trouble. Yeah, you have to force buy as well because you've got $1,400. dollars you, you double eco regardless. So... The book suggests you could have to purchase with Deagles, P250s, and yeah, this is where things start to spiral if you lose the pistol on the season. Quick little side. PSA to Jason, that slippery bitch who's been playing aimbots all morning. Okay, that is coming up after this I series. I have a 1v1 right? against him later in a semi-final. He's been warming up while I've been working. He's been doing nothing. Pathetic. It's a best of three as well. Absolutely pathetic. It's a marathon, not even a sprint. You can't even uh, steal one away. It's going to come down to the headshots oh. as Yakindawa will deliver one himself. It's going to be the Mac 10 which... 
Oh, shuts down this force by Chad, and now there really are going to be a lot of trouble. It's going to be 9 to 6, almost certain to be 10 to 6, and then has to be the perfect game from here on out. Tough. Might as well save your 5 7s. Yeah, double dip. Go again. That, that's all you can do. Short -lived, Great call. Very short lived celebrations after taking that pistol. It was a nice turnaround yeah, in the 2v2, and very quickly you find yourselves in a 3v5. <laughs> Look, staring down the barrel of what will be nine for your adversary, you are in, uh, yeah, you're in struggle street. I think the thing is, I think uh, FlyQuest like Anubis as well. Mm -hmm. So the fact that they get Anubis and Mirage, yeah, the key here is not allowing the half just to slip away. Mm. Is to stay competitive for a few more rounds, keep fighting, give some individuals like Vexite a few more rounds to warm into the game, get the AWP in Ali's hands as many times as possible, so he can warm up on that. It's going to be quite instrumental on the CT side. What did you make of that Liaz interview? He gave one with HLTV talking a little bit about Dexter's system. And uh, he says, I don't know if there's a crazy difference in styles, but the one thing Dexter has is that he's an asshole. Uh, and I think he's saying that as a good thing, as a, as a positive thing. And I'm sure both of you can give a, your own individual insights into that. Henry, you were saying to me the other day, like, that was when you were competing, you had to yeah. be the asshole. You were that guy. Because if, if you go over something a hundred times and you've practiced it, and the operative word being practice, yes. you don't deploy it in the same manner you do when you're under pressure, it really can be frustrating. If you're the one developing all the strategies, bringing this new playbook to the squad, and they're not listening, or they're actually or you're messing forgetting, key yeah. bits of utility up that actually just sabotages the entire round that costs you rounds, and, in, and indeed games, of course, you should be pissed off. You should be displaying that the iron fist, as I call it, as an in-game leader. And so, yeah, I think that's a good thing. Like, yeah, tell them off. Perhaps that was something that was absent in the form. Yeah, previous it was, I think it was too matey before. Mm. They draw good vibes, sure, but you also need the dad of the crew. And uh, he's a dad in real life as well, I believe. So yeah, you know, kind of, he's got, he's got experience. Multiple, multiple, he's got experience. Yeah. Left him at the airport. <laughs> Um, well, it's like if you leave a bag there, the police will come and grab it. Exactly, yeah, yeah eventually. So. It's true. Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, not, yeah, there's a 10-6, it's prophesied. So now this has to be a, a very strong game. Maybe a tactical timeout, I would say, for FlyQuest at this point. You can have got three kills there, MAC-10. Mm. There's a lot of extra cash already up to 9.7. So, as well, yeah, right? this is it. FlyQuest CT side have to slowly beat them down into submission now. <laughs> and also the book suggests you would be going for an A execution here with the MAC-10. Oh, they are thrown one away. I did not see that coming. That's kind of nuts, actually. So that may be back to a default. Lacking some head armor on the other side Yeah, as I always well, said the so. Mac-10 the perfect weapon for the job here. Yeah. He throws one away. And that, well, I guess maybe it was all that residual cash that we were so talking much. about. So splashing in to go for the finishing blow. Also, if he's top mid, oh, whereas now coming through underpass. Oh, jeez. But that's info on two. Just B split. Ali, Ali, playing with fire, pushes out the smoke. <laughs> Vexai's dead already. Cajun <laughs> charging up. Scrambling out of there. Oh, Liaz has got so much to do. Great, great help from Dexter. The fact he's taken down Katie. Did he spot him? Or flash? Oh, he spotted him now. Liaz is MP9. in a lot of trouble. Oh, it's not sucks. the weapon. No, it's a good it's gun. It's a good gun. Not for this. Watch Look, this. Look at how much pressure he's on. That's a lot. I don't think the M4 would have saved him there either. <laughs> okay, twist. well, that, that might be it. He's having a game, it's twist. This will be number 17, but it's denied. Dexter finds one of the 1v3. He's being flanked as well. No hope here for Dexter. They're not challenging just yet. Not going to spot him as Yek and Dart. Well, there's a guaranteed kill. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. He did. He, they, they got him. Skulls, Skulls got him. It, it was fine, everybody. Okay. Yeah, it's we all cut fine. a little bit early, but we're fine. It's all fine, everybody. Because you can, really should have had that kill literally should've. every day of yeah. the week, <laughs> yes. month, year, <laughs> millennia. Oh, gosh. Eon. I'm, I'm very curious about what that Dexter... Uh, he has like a flow chart on his desk every time they play. It's like a color-coded bar chart. I don't know what else you'd call it. Spider chart. There was lots of names for different charts at school. We had, we did have charts. There was Pie lots charts. of names for them. Pie chart. Pie chart, obviously. Bar chart. Bar chart, yeah. Star plotted <laughs> chart, I believe was the technical <laughs> term. Uh, but 11 to 6, all the same, before we could get to look at Dexter's notes. And it's the second time I called. So Urkast on the mic. Obviously, an opportunity for both teams to chat. But, like, Chad, you've already said they're up against the wall. They're the ones that have to try and, you know, string together consecutive rounds to even get back into this game. It, it, the outlook is bleak. Well, here's the shit decision. Uh, well, next round, you get the max loss bonus. This round here, you have enough if you were to buy, like, maybe one M4, or a couple uh, of MP9s. <laughs> In the replay, it even looks more ridiculous. Imagine. Uh, so this is where FlyQuest essentially have to half buy and, job, and very, job. very likely concede 12 and then go flawless back with six consecutive rounds just to play overtime. The ins scout, though. You don't see it too often. No, but Dexter also hero M4, so maybe there is a chance. 
Aaron, a lot of French shouting out. Can we get an update from you? Yeah. Parle like français? Oh la la. Ouais. C'est magnifique. It's a 1v1 between Lucky and Nico on the stream right now. Well, I wonder who wins that one. I do too. <laughs> All right, posturing to try and punish this B site again. Three players currently reside for FlyQuest. Alistair tucked in, undetected, and might not have a whole lot to do. It's the scout towards A, the M4 in window, and the three lighter upgrades towards B. Dexter will announce his presence yet again, but rerouting our team Liquid. A good decision. As Twist will get the boost from Yakinda up towards this window position. Will it be an early, uh, late activation so he can play off of the information they get? Ah, Look, they only have two smokes, one for Katie and one for Skulls. If they don't smoke Ticket, there's a chance for Inns to get some tags. Let's we'll see what he can do. Oh, they smoke Ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you found right, something, They take the OP Ticket smoke as well, the one that lands on the box. You can't even really get any vision whatsoever. No. You can push through it, though. You that, can push that through it. Uh, that, that is one of the options. And, and it resulted in A couple of tags. Oh my Ooh. god, they're going to win. Oh, they're on it! In combination, the scout, the it's M4. Done Where's late twists? Here's late twists. They can go back to B, though. Late twists? The bomb's going all the way back to B, and they've completely evacuated. The two players are going to be able to get him for free. Twists oh, did more damage, but look, open runway. Your kinder will be in. Sure, they're look both the low. But it doesn't matter. There's no kit. I think it might matter. The five sevens. If KD and Molly's mark it now, they're working well, it out. He has to go for the plant first. Just in the nick of time. Oh, and your kinder saying shots like that. He's going to string Please. together the double. Let's hold on to KD and maybe he can close this between the two of them with only 30 points of health. Now 13 on Cadian. Inns and Vex site. There's no kit. They over. have to be quick about this. The trade, it must be necessary. You can't isolate Jules. He's managed to do so. Commits to the spray. Can't find the second. Cadian, big moves. He's playing with his food. But Vexite bites back for a seven for FlyQuest. Well, Dex is not messing about. 18 kills, two hugely impactful ones here. He is the only one really stepping up for the FlyQuest boys at the moment. Wow. Inns has double digit, sure. But Dexter, you got to tip hey. your hat to the in-game leader. Inns got some good tags there as well. As you said, he actually got a collateral shot. The scout towards the A round did a ton of damage into that round. Set Dexter up. And uh, Vexite, huge frag here as well. The AK-47. And closes things out. A player who hasn't actually really got into this one as of yet. And that's a huge round. It denies map point. This, this one's still on. That is an Ika. He is right. Let's, let's go. I like the Alistair fire. It yeah. reminds me of it's, my heyday. I've seen it. I've seen it before, <laughs> Chad. I definitely have. Uh, yeah, he just, he's just missing the cape. The full Aussie yeah, flag got cape. Got a better mustache. Though. And the kangaroo. That much. And the kangaroo. Uh, inflatable Kev. kangaroo. Well, yeah. Did it have a name? Stuff. Kev. Kev. Big up to Kev one time. Okay, well... Liquid have invested. There's still residual cash on the likes of Skulls and right. Cadian, kind of, with the loss bonus going forward. So it, FlyQuest need to win two in a row, I think, yeah, before they sure. bottom out Liquid. And that's not even discussing bombs going down or saved weaponry. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We're off to the races here. FlyQuest back on their feet after a partial by victory. Ooh. If it's an early A play, right now A is completely evacuated. They started 3B fly quest. They're expecting more pressure that side of the map. There's been a lot of B splits in those lighter buy rounds that we saw. It looks like it's going to be quite a fast A split. 3A ramp, 2 up connector. And here comes oh. Twists. Yeah, the synchronicity of this. The smokes land. They erect the boost. They get him. Oh, audio. Inns is none the wiser. Oh, oh no! Huge spins miss. on a dime. Finds one. Vex side onto Yakinda. That was crazy. How has there been two of those in this game? In one game. Two absolute sitters. Yeah, bro. That's not ideal at all. Hold Dexter on. giving them hell as well. There's still somewhat oh, of a chance that? here. Nap is fighting back two for nail. And he gets himself a triple kill. But not going to be enough, even with his heroics on the A bomb site. A missed shot in the back there from Twist. Cost them the round, essentially. I'll give indication of XI there. They all did fight together. Just from his POV, it looked a little bit silly. But they also jumped up on tickets. So uh, great work from FlyQuest. Huge round. Oh, and it, another missed shot. Is your yep. confidence like for Kadian now? You know, he had that clutch earlier in that one on two on A on the CT side where he shouldn't have gone for that overpeak. Your kinder with a miss in the back. It didn't cost them anything. Crouched while moving as well. So you have the accuracy there. It's just uh, a missed shot, unfortunately. He didn't quite control the spray. Well, this is the one. You get this round. You yep. bottomed out their economy. Yeah, this is the one. You're right. And it's going to be Vexai tucking himself in towards B. Naf fended off by the incendiary. Well placed, well timed. 
Good smoke as well. Give some B control here. It's back in spawn. Maybe doing a late window smoke. Oh, peppered was naff. Not good Bad. spam from Liaz. Yeah, it's significant damage. That's going to hurt. It's unusual to see Vexai up on the balcony towards A right now as well. So another one of these uh, hopefully baiting them into the B play switches. So it will be the B finish. And it's the perfect setup from FlyQuest POV. Molotov oh, though. It does dead. make things a little bit more complicated, admittedly. Good made in response. Should do some damage here. Takes Nap down to 42. Reroutes them as well. That worked twofold. It blocked. It extinguished the molly. He got away. And now they're having to go elsewhere. Twists. After the missed shot in the Big. previous round. Huge. Things don't get any better for him. Dexter takes 20. him down. 20 frags. Huge. We know Dexter's got these games in him. And to find one here at the playoffs of Pro League is... Just on time. Perfectly timed. Skulls with the bomb on his back. They're maneuvering, trying to pivot back into this A site. Dexter has repositioned, opted for default with that ramp for the spot on the cross. And Dexter's the one to take another. He's doing oh, it all! Come on, Dexter! That's it! Enough! Calm down. He takes a dink onto Cadian as well. They got no time. They got no bomb. Cadian save. They ain't got no round. They realize they need this. Chad's already highlighted the, the ramifications of losing this round for Team Liquid. That's a two round game. I didn't think they'd no. be bringing this one when you, back. When you said that they'd have to kind of go on, do it the hard way, as it were, you'd have to humble Team Liquid's economy, and we've kind of got there. We're here now. And the thing that's interesting in this is it's not just momentum-based Counter-Strike. You know, they're not winning both pistols. That's that's not the case in this game. They're actually having to fight for it and try and play some quality CS, and you have to, again, look towards Dexter. Another massive round from him. Good Continues shot. to lead the charge, topping the server right now. And just putting a smile on Nas' face. Not for the right reasons, I'd imagine. <laughs> oh, he's just owned me. You know, you can, what can you do? Smile? All right. Well, everyone's loving it right now, but there is still an orb in play Ooh. and a Yekandar AK-47. He has been impressive this series. He's got 19 kills himself. Edging. Yeah, he really is. Oh, maybe a little bit too much. Got smokes deployed towards Connector. CT smoke, though, and it's going to be an Alistair frag to open things up. Another man advantage here to rifle down. Alistair will try and reposition, scramble his way out. Oof, for some reason, Cadian was going to take yeah, him. Yeah, no, but it's smart. He knows that there was an orb saved. He's not going to try and be a hero. Dexter, however, I think he is. He's already T-spawn. He's got the hot hand. Yeah, he's feeling it, isn't he? You go for those plays. Yeah, you're not missing any shots here. Your registration feels perfect. Everywhere you peek across, so you're just finding headshots, multiple frags. And he's timed this one so well. He can just pick up the pace a little bit here. Knife foul and get towards them. I think they'll just be around the corner before he gets there. Maybe not. <gasps> Spots the leg of one. And he's got to kill Naf. Easy oh, does it. Dexter. It is perfect. Get you a leader that can and do it all. he's falling back as well. He doesn't overcommit. He knows they've got connect to control. Potentially up short as well. He doesn't want to go down. If he does... They've got options. They can fall back in towards A and execute. He's actually just patrolled that position, maintain the five on three. And FX side, another great shot from him. He's starting to warm up into this series. That's, that should be enough. Because Cadian's got the AWP. It's Twist with no Kevlar and the Tech 9. He's in Connect up. He's kind of dropping off the last few rounds as well. Yeah, well, I mean, those that window got fight. Save. We got turned on by Inns. I think that, that will rock your confidence. Wants to die. No, as silly as that sounds. But Cadian wants to survive. Oh. Okay, that would do as well. Uh, AK? Yeah, take a gun. Still want to die. Yoink. Oh, yoy! Bloody hell, okay. Well, damage he... and a gun. If he can afford, yeah, if he gets the gun, he can <laughs> yeah, afford armor. That's, so that's all good. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> that worked out. That's a like best case scenario. That all worked out, didn't it? Yeah. The fact he's got the AK, he can afford the armor and utility for those two kills is actually a pretty good outcome, all things considered. So just having a look at the opening kills so far, it's looking really good. Alistair's been doing phenomenal work in, in that regard. Five and two. Uh, uh, you've got four and two for Inns, four and two for Dexter. So the individuals who should be at the forefront, well, actually, I would imagine Vex side as well, but that would more be on the T side. And he had a real tough go on the T side trying to get that mid control. The two of you were highlighting how much damage he took every single time. This is the second of three tactical timeouts in regulation called from Liquid. So it's getting hot under the collar for Zeus. Yeah, it's already a bit uncomfortable. You kind of came in with a, an air of confidence today, I'd imagine, as Team Liquid, feeling like, it's probably probably feeling the way Betboom did when they saw their draw. Little did they know, in FlyQuest, they are on the up and up. Betboom were taken down in a reverse sweep by FlyQuest. Now, 
Just one round separates them from Liquid. I will say this, it doesn't matter in the isolation of this map. Let's say Dexter drops 30 and they win, that's great. But in the conversation for the series, I don't think him with the carry performance in back-to-back -back is gonna be enough to get across the line. Fair. So we need more contributions from the FlyQuest boys. Alistair. Post to the orb. Potential boost. He could go down to this, but Kadian's still concerned about Con. They missed the molly as well. I, yeah, I was going to say, is that for some reason like going to be molotoving towards underpass? But yeah, I think you're right. It's straight. I missed the... Uh... Oh, no, maybe maybe you're That's, right. Maybe it was for underpass. Yeah, because yeah. the orb are challenging if that. If it burned, then yeah, Loxine uh, underpass push right. helps the plate. So yeah, okay. Because they smoked it I after. I thought it suggesting. went mid-air explosion, but no, it actually detonated and burnt. Yeah, you get that weird sound if it goes yeah. in the air. It's... Wow. I think that's from uh, <laughs> that's what it does. Wow. the TV have... series, uh, What's Under the Trapdoor. I what's did... Under the Trapdoor? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not familiar. But yeah, it makes a really disturbing noise if it misses. Oh, you nailed it. <laughs> yeah. You hate to see that. It's $400 down the swanee if you do. Not a great one of those. Yeah. This one. The Claymation, the Trapdoor. Oh, I recognize the character from like memes, I think. Is he like a memeable character? He was when we were kids. Okay, I don't yeah. recognize it. Not Harry's generation. Definitely not. Well, um, Team Liquid, what have you got for us? Weirdo. <laughs> Harry was telling me how much he uh, he loves Bluey. You know, familiar with Bluey? I don't know what Bluey is. Who, who is Bluey? I'll let Harry explain. 30 seconds, boys. Five on five. <laughs> yeah, there, there he is. And Seth we're Rogan of Esports. Oh! Okay, four on four into the side. Oh, Dexter. Dexter's doing everything. I don't know where Leaz oh. is looking. Skull found Alan. himself a multi kill. Alistair's in the clutch. They already have his position noted. Oh, he tries no. a pod shot, not able to they stop the bomb he plant. He has to save it. Yeah. Oh, no. That dissolved in the in an instant. Yeah, Dexter gets a double delivering from the site, but nobody else had any traction whatsoever. And that's exactly what I was just saying. It can't just be the Dexter show. Mm -mm. Oh, they're going to hunt you down, Ali. They are coming for you. The hounds are off the leash. This will be a big save. Kadian just pivoting back to make sure there isn't a defuse attempt. Oh, but that's going to be 12 for Team Liquid. They break the streak. That was four consecutive from FlyQuest. Alistair will be able to drop an M4. Liaz will be able to buy himself. 1400 added onto Dexter's current finances. He might actually just take an MP9, but considering the way he's been playing, you'd want him to get the M4A1, wouldn't you? You really would. Let's have a look then. Is it be another tactical timeout? It's do or die. And I really mean it this time. It's Flying Quest uh, greeted by map. Point. Looks all right here. And then yeah, now everyone dies. Dexter dies. Skulls double. Skulls get some both. And uh, then your kinder hits that. OK. No! Guys, come yeah, on. I mean, that's the Nova shotgun. Apparently, Zeus has been saying, apparently, okay, sold it. I was going to say, is that the most genius purchase we've ever seen? Like, Zeus, the coach, yeah. like, has been saying it's secretly OP. That's the word on the street right now. I did play against a guy called Nova only, and he did drop 33. Okay, maybe, yeah. like, give it a go. Let us know. On Ancient. No well, we can't Nova on the pistol. I mean, I don't know whether or not he was particularly talented or particularly. Buy a Dexter, please, yeah. man. Come on. Do it. Not the Deagle. The Deagle's boring. Let's do the Nova shotgun. Have you come 98% of the way to only get 2% of the information? That's the question, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, kind of edging in a different way. Mm. Well, I'd like overtime. I would too. So it is the Deagle. It's no Henry Nova. Jeans Day, after all. It is. It's for a Henry day. Jeans Day. Let's do it for Henry Jeans Day, shall we, lads? Exclamation mark charity in the chat. Find out about Henry Jeans Day, how you can contribute, how you can donate. Go on, Ali. I like a bit of a, a touch more aggression. He's going to have further mid info. Unfortunately, that smoke actually does uh, completely nullify his opening gambit. Oh, not. Not with a nade onto it. Beautiful. Okay, FlyQuest, you've been given a gift. Liquid, their pivot is swift. Four congregate outside of A. Inz is rotating over. Alistair's on the way to ticket as well. They still have to work out this execute, though, Liquid. They're juggling smokes around, working out who's going to throw what. That's allowed FlyQuest to now fortify this site. Inz has utility to block, a smoke, a Molotov. Alistair has a smoke as well. There's a chance they defend this. Kadeem delayed the second smoke. It's landing now. He's got flashes to get them out. Here we go, then. Flashes to come over. Two players in Palace. They look like they're ready to go. It scores and now fly Molotov towards Dark. 
Clashes over. Alistair to defend. Misses the shot while blind, admittedly. And now it's back to the 4-4. Four and four. This could be the GG moment. They've okay. open runway. And oh. they have got Inzo fighting back. Dexter can't replicate the strong form of the Desert Eagle. Three versus two. Liaz and Vex have it all to do. One of the players with an MP9. No kits, as Chad mentioned. They do have smokes and HEs. No utility left on Team Liquid. So there's maybe it. A fighting chance, but I think that will be it. Vex out with the SMG boys. His days are numbered. Oh, they've been egged out here. That's a good effort, though. Good game. And that's about all that'll be remembered as 13 to 10 in favor of Team Liquid on FlyQuest map choice. Anubis up next, and Team Liquid, they're going to be feeling happy about that. That Alex, how are you feeling about Anubis, bro? We got three here. Do you think the Aussies needed to take that map pick? Probably. Yeah, they, they played it twice this tournament, won both times. You know, obviously it's going to be a bit yeah. di difficult for them in, in their region to get good an Anubis reps, so maybe that's what Liquid is thinking as well. Yeah, we haven't seen Team Liquid play this, this tournament thus far, so uh, we'll get into it. It's going to be a five-man execution from FlyQuest here. Flashbang's over, yeah, Kandar to defend. Oh, my god, is he ever. Good start, but great rebuttal. It's going to be Vexite with some early form here as they flood the bomb site. Presumably the C4 goes down, but Swiss starting to get fired out. Oh, instant clear. His corners pays a heavy price for it. Cadian as well has taken down the leader. It really hinges on Alistair's Glock, and he's going to try and reposition into the NAF smoke. It's all on to Vexite, overwhelmed by USPs, and a team ace for Team Liquid's pistol campaign. They haven't had much success in the openings here for FlyQuest. No, that's a good point. Yeah, both pistols slipping by the wayside. Oh, no, to be fair, they won the second half pistol, but they lost a second round eco. That's yeah, right. that, that's what happened. But yeah, yeah early game. Uh, kind of starts have not been great for them. Twist has been fantastic. He had a, a boatload of frags on Mirage. Continues that strong form, as you mentioned. Team Ace here, good retake as they get the defuse him. The bomb does get planted, which is always a, a key factor here. Does mean you can buy up with Galils or MAC-10s and some utility. They'll go with both approaches here. We've got Inns and Alistair down to Tech Nines and full belts. And then, of course, the Galils out in full force of Exide, Liaz and Dexter. So they've got every chance to convert this round. Liquid know it as well. They'll equip themselves with three rifles and a couple of SMGs too. It's going to be the same again, Yanko. Back to back executions towards B by the looks of things here. Yeah, just putting the pressure on that go. defense so and they're fast. in. Oh, wow. And yeah, while well, Vexite's out, Lee has a very necessary trade in the round already. Just disintegrates with Team Liquid, you were saying. Uh, they were lost the second round. Well, this time they might be winning it. That's the problem for the CTs in the second round, right? When the Ts get the plan. You, you have to play against so many things. Obviously, the Ts have the innate benefit of they're the ones dictating where the fights are going to happen most of the time, right? Unless you do something really aggressive from the get-go as CT. And that's hard to do because you don't have everything you want, right? I mean, you only got 3,500 uh, win bonus because of the defuse. So you can see the trade-off between M4's armor, not really a lot of nades, or SMGs and a lot of utility. And they were trying to save their nades a little bit on B, not use them immediately. FlyQuest just pushes the fights, gets the couple of entry kills, and that's it. Liquid has to save. They really do. Twist will at least find some damage on the retreat. We'll see if he survives. I believe there's a player encroaching now as his teammate. So it's all fine. They'll save a couple of weapons there, but it's FlyQuest bouncing back on what is considered to be the most T-sided it's, map. It's almost as if, like, you have to send an M4 there to just be ready for a dry swing somehow. And even Aff was there with the M4. And then also have a guy with utility. So if some something starts flying over, he, he can throw counter util, right? But, you know, it really, like, nitpicking now, trying Besides to find ways. Nightmare. Yeah, it can be very difficult to hold. Well, there is a full spy in response, of course, here. Not quite as deadly as the one we saw in the second round, but the MP9s and Deagle of Cadian will accompany Twist with his M4A1S. We've got two players in towards B. Maybe a bit of a boost going on back there, but not quite. Smoke doesn't actually land exactly where he wanted it to go. There's a bit of a gap. Smoke and runway here for FlyQuest. We'll be able to breach the bombsite momentarily. And they've actually got some great real estate. The fact that B main's pretty much open due to the missed smoke. Still doesn't seem to work out for them. Twist will find a first. Nafly, a 
a chance in this smoke now. Oh, it's close, and Yekendar will convert the kill. Yeah, this is uncomfortable, but Vexite's hit a great headshot, his second of the round. They are congregated behind yeah, the smoke. What? He gets them both. A lovely double. <laughs> Vexite just catches them with one spam of the smoke. Now, this oh, the only way this goes wrong is if Cadian has a Cadian round. It's not to be today. A quad kill from Vexite and back-to-back -back impact from him. He just walks into that B site, strafing round wide, and has taken it by force. Liquid's pick, but FlyQuest, they're no slouch on Anubis. Their map pool has been, uh, it's been getting stronger and stronger as uh, Dexter's arrival has uh, some longevity. I think the problem is also when you play FlyQuest, you look at their map pool, you know, like their stats on maps, and it's yeah. just 80 plus percent win rate on everything because they play Australian teams. Yeah. So the only thing that you can do is sort of look at the games themselves and sort of try to judge how good you think they are or are not on the map. But that can also be deceiving because, you know, their players are not going to have the same level of focus and definitely intensity when it comes to playing, you know, local opposition compared to international opponents. Should be a bit of a gimme round here. Should be in the operative word. There is an A stack going on. It'd be pretty strange to see FlyQuest just contact in towards A. However, they are in towards a diva right now, trying to feel out the map, trying to bait out a response. Some utility, which they've done. There's a smoke deployed towards middle. There's now one flash remaining. I, I am on tenterhooks right now, Henry. I've been watching your Kinder's POV this whole time. Oh, that's that flash. I'm really intrigued to see where he chooses to use this flash. It looks like it was just going to be like kind of a reactionary trap. You hear them rushing A, you throw it. Or you can flash mid if they hear it. But instead, it, quite a cool from, cool from FlyQuest. You just continue to be stubborn. You walk into the open B site. No one's home. Yakinda throws it out, and Inns will eat that, but that's a big indication as to where the push is coming from. He's going to get a free frag, and push for more. Only gets two before the M4's on the floor. Vexai has support, trying to cover that rifle from the retrieval. Up rugs is one. But Vexai, he's not playing scared. He's not playing shy. He knows that they're on just on an eco. And they will keep the sheet clean. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, Vexai, up to nine kills. He had a quiet start of Mirage. Started to find some form towards the tail end of it. You are just joining us. This is the second map. This is Liquid's pick, but it was a closely contested Mirage. 13-10. They got to double digits. Could have been theirs, to be honest with you, but uh, we'll see if this nice start will be converted to take us to the third map of Ancient. It's 3-1 right now. KD and down to the MP9 rather than the AWP. Let's we'll see what Team Liquid have got up their sleeve here. Alistair, AWP for the round number five. He says smoke, it indicates some aggression, but nothing's coming. Jump spot from Vexai maybe stops the over rotation. And you can see the consequences of losing that second round if you're liquid. Kadian, not only does he not have an AWP, he has an MP9. He could have afforded an M4, though. I guess with a thousand dollars residual, he's making sure there's some bank going forward that he can find a, a kill this round and they win it. Oof. It's not a great start. Nafly goes down. Lovely shot from Alistair. That MP9 will do absolutely nothing. Five versus. Oh. Hello? Oh, okay. Yekindar, one HP. Didn't really do any damage himself. He'll be dealt with by the Glock. Dexter knows it as well, just hunting him down. Trying to sniff him out here. It looks like the round's already under control as they drop the HE and find the third kill. Five on two, nothing to be done here apart from save the weapons for Skulls and Twist. Very good start for FlyQuest. They are really punishing this B-bomb side time and time again. Yeah, I mean, we can all empathize. We've all played Anubis where that B site just feels like it's undefendable. And for Cadian as well, I mean, he prioritized it the incendiary over the rifle or as it all finances in general, but it didn't do anything, did it? They just run him, run him down, keeping it simple. But there is a, certainly a T-side leniency. We're not uh, going to get too carried away. But a slow start for Liquid. And with five still alive, the, uh, the coffers are going to be quite comfortable. Four fly quest ends is on a flank, a pretty dank flank at that. Oh, they at least get one of these kills. That'll be absolutely fine. Should be the grace. There it is, Vexite. Trying to find Twist in again. He probably gets one, but should be traded out once again. But nice. Twist, he's pretty, pretty sharp, this kid. He'll hold on to his M4 and at least make things interesting going forward. Bear in mind, KD with a little bit extra cash considering he stayed about $1,000, but ultimately partial buy territory, 4-1. Uh, as mentioned at the start, if you're not aware, it's considered to be the most t sided map we have in the pool. So not massive alarm bells for Team Liquid, but certainly not the start they were looking for. Yeah, we'll get to see how this one worked out for Alistair. It looked like a great shot. Bang. It was. Nice work. 
good response as well. They've had great spacing and trade potential, FlyQuest throughout. That seems to be um, something they've really worked on since Dex has joined. Like, most of the trades go in their favor. And uh, like we said, it's a departure buy with the P250s. Five sevens and Alistair, another opening couple of frags here as he dominates Swiss and Nap once again. That's actually pretty significant. We'll see whether anything left to be said about the round. I, I think this is 5-1 all day long. FlyQuest is going to keep going B until they lose a round. That's, that's the feeling I'm getting. I mean, you, you always have these mind games when you lose a lot of the rounds on the one bomb site, right? Like you want to maybe be cheeky and say, OK, now they expect us to stack that bomb site. Um, so we'll just keep playing default. But I've always been of the thought that, mm. you know, just first defend what's beating you, you know, and then you have then you have room to be smart and try to predict what they're going to do. Yeah, it makes sense. He has eventually getting Gadian down, and so he has a good idea that Yekinda probably going to be trying to save that M4 he, his teammate Twist brought through. I think, if anything, the adjustment might be because a lot of it has been just peeking and searching for fights from the side of FlyQuest to just put the op there. But that's the one adjustment I would make if I were Dexter. I would still want to go B, but that's maybe what I would think. Okay, they'll, they'll put the op there now, so let's just do a heavier sort of execute. And another thing would be to just fake B in the mid round to get a guy in mid or put someone in a forward position and then let the mid round develop. Well, this is where the game spices up a bit now. Kadian does have the AWP for the first time. Like, they've been taking a lot of these dry peaks towards beam again. Yanko said, like, that they're probably going to keep doing that until it stops working. So you'd assume Kadian's going to be a B at the very start of this round and challenging from Temple, I'd imagine, and trying to take down Alistair. If he keeps finding that pick, why would he stop doing it? So they'll take the tactical timeout, bring in Zeus. Uh, I think they know what they have to do here. They understand what they're up against. It's been a bit of a brawly start. Uh, like we said, a pretty basic gameplay from FlyQuest, but it's working very well. They're hitting their shots, and Alice is finding those openings time and time again. So with the timeout, though, Yanko, do you just change up yeah. the methodology now? <laughs> that That's can be like, if you see the timeout, you might just be willing to call an A rush. Exactly. Right? Because now you're thinking, okay, they're discussing how they want to approach B, how they're going to deal <laughs> with B. But that depends on the in-game leader. Like someone like Hooksy would probably just call an A rush here, Kerrigan, Right? Like, Dexter might just not be that sort of a guy. He's very default heavy. He likes a good old default. Just say, uh, it's up to them to figure out the answer. If it so ain't broke, why fix it? Circadian, yes, over towards B. Just trying to shut down that Alistair potential. Alistair is there. He's not taking the dry peak at the start. He's aware they'll be adjusting here. So it's a completely different book, I think, for FlyQuest. Focusing maybe more towards middle. They have the bomb outside A of the star, but trying to coordinate themselves back into Old Faithful here. As Alistair confirmed, there's no smoke down towards B main. He's watching towards Jail right now. And he'll be right in doing so. Right, so why was he buggering around quick with that? Quick switch, there? quick switch. For what to get him? For no reason. For no reason whatsoever. So he pulled the Tech 9 out for a second, then a nade. Was he trying to cycle through his utility? I don't know, but that was very odd. It cost him his life. That was a guaranteed kill if he held the angle. It's a tough, tough one to concede, actually. Oh no. Well, that's exactly what Kadian and co were looking for. Yekanda, active as ever. It was very aggressive on the CD side of Mirage. Continues to do so, doesn't care if they have the man advantage right now, wants to keep applying pressure. This is a, such a strong position as well on the CT side. You've got the orb covering you for the walkups, and you're patrolling middle at the same time. It's a lovely little CT setup. Uh, none the wiser, they have no idea. Yekanda, oh, you do have to make some splish splash. I'm not sure this is the play, and Kadian is covering him. It's actually perfect. It's actually a bit of a, a bait and switch, I suppose, in that respect. You're almost welcoming the sound cue, and it's a clean finish. Team Liquid back to their winning ways. Couldn't ask for much more than that. The rounds have been pretty one-sided, so I think the money's absolutely fine for FlyQuest. They've got like 8K on three players. Yeah, I mean, for Ali, that's, that's not going to be replicable. He's it's, not, it's not something he's going to concede again, but it doesn't feel good. It's unfortunate. Like... The be all and end all, but yeah. yeah, he was holding for that push. And the, the little splash to bait them out was actually a, a master start, master class. Yeah, yeah really nice. Yeah. Frustrations for one side, celebrations for the other Team Liquid on the board in the guns. Everyone's got a weapon now, so let's see how Twist handles mid with full belt of util if they do come knocking. Looks like they are. Dexter, Dexter. Oh, he is hyper aggressive to already be this deep. You can see the B stream, things are going on. Things are happening. 
Here's Alistair Kieran. again. A lot of celebrations on that side of the studio. So we have got Cadian primed and ready. Dexter, though, this is key. This backstab, he slips the net. They'll be aware there was a timing. And you can see they're adjusting accordingly. Uh, perfectly played from that fly. Has to be the B contact once again. In we go. This kill might decide it. Cadian converts. He's got Yekindar on the front lines. Mowing them down here. Significant damage. I think that's a leg shot from Cadian that hits Liaz. And he converted as well. Uh, another five-man save here for Team Liquid. This is looking much better. Since the orbs come out, it's been pretty clean. Yep, there it is. Not a single player goes down. That money's starting to diminish now on the FlyQuest side. Uh, they've got one more full buy left in them. They don't give this one up. The loss bonus won't be really there to su sustain them. What did he say? He says you need to change. We know what you're doing. Well, we, well to be fair, yeah. we, okay, that kind of confirms everything we were saying. <laughs> yeah, uh, it does. That, uh, kind of, that's good. Thank you, Katie. Yeah. They, uh, they do know. But you, also, you have to change. do you? Do you? Uh, will the CTs perhaps over-accommodate? Look, Cadian taking his orb. He said, I'm going A this time, boys. He put trust back he into the ultimate kinder. mind game, isn't it? Shall we know what you're doing? Change your position up and skulls. I was going to say, he's showing a bit of an assertive play here, but probably for the best, he fell back there <laughs> as the orb was ready and waiting, poised towards a main. Alistair patiently waits there. It's a dangerous spot to hold as well. You're very prone to grenades through the window, but... Nothing like that being delivered just yet. Is Cadian? Can he find another opener? He really will get going if he finds another opening pick and scampers away. Nice shot, but not quite connecting. Yeah, baits it. Jiggle from Alistair. Kinder. Oh, he's good on this dark That's position. That's such good comms, though, from Team Liquid. The fact they spotted multiple bodies oh! out there. It's Nafla with the AK-47 mowing them down. That's all the intel you need. That's Another great. five on two, make it four. Yeah, one back from Liaz. Uh, if he finds your kinder, maybe there's some discomfort. But he's so separated and segregated from Dexter, and he's gone down before Dexter can even get into position. He's just now knife out arriving. Uh, there's not going to be a bomb plan here, and that's actually kind of alarming because this is now eco territory. They're going to bring in a one round game, five to four pretty much guaranteed to be 5-5 five, five because uh, this is like eco territory with the loss bonus I think at what third stage at this point come on Henry you got this yeah 2900 so you can invest maybe a little bit but not much look at this second headshot boff full committed on the AK great control from NAF Liquid they are here they're present and this one feeling far from uh, a lock in for Flight well, Quest uh, the, the kind of the B contact plays, it was working, it was looking so good, but as Cadian said, they know what you're doing now, they've had to adjust, and now getting manhandled by Team Liquid. It's going to be the tactical time of the first use by FlyQuest. Money is at a pretty desperate spot, so yeah, this is like maybe even a Glock Eco, I would say, at this stage. Which is fine, they've got rounds on the board, but as mentioned, it's a T-sided map. You splitting it down the middle against Team Liquid, I don't think will be enough. They can afford some pistols at the very least, but I think also, you know, they haven't been using mid almost at all, except for trying to get Dexter in that one time, and then he maybe played a little bit too early before they started push putting pressure on the bomb site itself. So that might be, you know, it's a little bit too predictable to just try something fast, so putting a little bit more pressure there and also, you can tell that in the mid to late round, if they're not pressured B, Liquid loves to just peak dark and push up water and, and take control of that area. So that's something that maybe you can use against them and hit them in the late B pop where you smoke off uh, Bloody dark. It's getting a little uncomfortable, well handled in the end. AKs still in the hands of the CTs here. We go 5-5, five, five, not really much done there. A kill found at the very least, but uh, should be back. The full rifles now on the FlyQuest side. I don't think they can justify an Alistair AWP. No, certainly not. Not the end of the world, but not ideal. Two AKs on the defense. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, FlyQuest have got two kills in four rounds, and one of them there was the Dexter Deagle. So they really have just been kind of left wanting into the uh, late stages of this attacking side. They're trying to test A. Let's see if Skulls, the A anchor, can... Look at Yakinda. He is such an abuser of this dark push. Every time it's not held, every time there's just a momentary lapse in the FlyQuest setup, he's already posted. Cadian's in the right position to collect. Skulls oh, racks dear. up the multi. <laughs> FlyQuest absent. They are just getting torn apart limb by limb now. 
ever since uh, Team Liquid got that all power, especially. They found their confidence, found their mojo, and uh, started to dominate the battlefield. Dexter, he's been red hot throughout this series. He's looked fantastic. He got 25 kills himself from Mirage, but you'd have to go above and beyond to make a dent on this one. Yeah, now it's pushing through. He's going to take the kill. So six. And that's six in consecutive order. Three frags now in five rounds. It is it is problematic. One last chance to try and get around on the board. This T side is, uh, is slipping away now. Cadian was in the right He's, place yeah, again. In the last five rounds or so, he has been. He's just been in the perfect position to slow them right down, find the kill, uh, make them consider their options. And it's the final round of this first half. We said 6-6. Six, six. Wouldn't really do. There's a possibility this one goes 7-5 on the CT side. Wouldn't be GG, but certainly not a comfortable spot. And they've got Galil's and no Dexter. The in-game leader is removed early on. Cadium once again in the perfect position to find that opening kill. Yeah, he's found his footing, hasn't he? Yeah. Look at this. Look at the hesitance from your because of Yakinda's pushes. They're jumping over the T-stair smoke. It's funny that he pushes when there isn't one, and when there is one, he doesn't. Keeps them on their toes. So Alistair got the kill in the pistol, he said as a team ace, and then... He got a couple of more picks. He's on three kills total, so he hasn't had any impact since Cadian came online with the AWP. True, true. Ever since that quick switch, he hasn't got a kill. Yeah, true. I think that that's exactly the moment. Yeah, you're right. Look at this. Twist Look at is about that. to really ruin it. Oh, Leah dies yeah. in the back. Your B. Hook it up. Lurk has gone. You were trying to pincer her in as well from the dark side. Now you've got a smoke Such a in sick your face. smoke as well. There's nothing you can do. You've got Galil's and no utility. It's there. It's like, should we walk through maybe? <sighs> you, don't yeah, have might. <laughs> you don't even have the bomb. It's about to be found by Twist. No way. Yep. Oh, I've got the bomb, boys. I kidding. have the bomb. In They're yeah. aware they have to look, though. And they get the frag. Not bad. Yeah, it's a little bit of a scary spot. The round is back on, though. 30 seconds. Nafly getting himself in a prime position. Yekendark can hear for heavy footsteps in towards middle. Naf getting that information. And Cadian once again, Stella with the AWP. Oh, dear. Ooh. Gets it. Gets one. Techside's in a horrible position. You've got the bomb and you've got no time to do anything. A little flash for good measure. He seconds. can't even get in there. It's the last round, mate. Doing everything he can. That's not bad. Flying through with the pop flash. And oh! Oh, he's gonna love that. Oh dear. Insult to injury. Yep, you're onto something there, Yanko. See, he looks like Liquid R2 as there's seven CT rounds ready for the close on half two.
What's up, my fellow gamers? You join us for day 43 here at ESL Pro League Season 19. There will be no breaks, there will be no sleep. The Counter-Strike Network must go on forever. You join us, what could be the conclusion of Team Liquid versus FlyQuest after a stunning recovery on the CT side. It's Team Liquid up seven to FlyQuest five. Gentlemen, do we reckon this is it? Can they pull it back? Can we go to a third? I can't believe you forgot, out of all people, the first rule of ESL Pro You're right, I shouldn't. We do not talk <laughs> about Pro League. <laughs> I'm we'll talk about this game, though. I'm just going to say, before we get into that, the second piece of that little puzzle, the Fight Club, might be coming out today. Oh, Might be coming out today in between uh, map two of the second series. Uh, well, little... the second series should be a banger. That's only going to be the cherry and the uh, whipped cream on top. Don't know what needs whipped cream in a cherry, but... Maybe that does. <laughs> Can I have a plate of whipped cream, please? Yeah, no, a, wait, cherry. a cherry. Cherry, please. There's a Moses joke somewhere in there. I think we've got a plate of whipped cream for you, Leia. Henry, we have. Well. On Saturday, I believe. Okay, we're gonna, Saturday. We're bringing the whipped cream to my face, live in the studio. No CGI. It will be done properly. Jakey so. and MC with the ones and twos on the Observer team and on deck tonight. As we've got a three-man double jewel Beretta. Behold, set up. Cadian is making a lot of headway. So he's just going to go in like he's just scouting. If he gets a kill, amazing. We'll pull everyone over. They're ready to pounce and B. Dexter's going to spot them. That's going to cause fly quest to rotate, and then they're going to die on B. This P250 as well. It can cause so much damage, a range, and so can skulls. That's with the Glock. Dexter's starting to peel off here. So they could fake this and actually go in towards A, considering Cadian's got all that territory under his belt. There's been no push towards A main. Inns, if he doesn't check his corners, in a lot of trouble. The bomb is rotating over. And now they're starting to realize this one's going to fall apart. Inns, though, brings the round back to life. They do need to win this pistol. I can't stress that enough. And they're going for it. Not a bad position for Dexter. Trying to get the grenade down. Should do a reasonable amount of damage. Takes Cadian down to 36. But Skull's continuing to frag as the bomb is planted. Nice shot, Dexter. Needed another. Cadian's contributing heavily. Two on two. With the P250 NAF, though, he's got a Molotov and he's got a flank. Coming in behind Liaz and Inns. Cadian just going to delay from a main. Inns is if open. Free frag, NAF. Was he? Oh, meal of God. It. Okay, I go through the window now at this point, I think, NAF. Off you go. He's running into Liaz and he still finds the frag. He's got the Molotov for the bomb. Oh. This is beautifully that's pieced a... together by Liquid. That's, I mean, that's one hell of a pistol. I love that. The hey. fact that, like, you, they had contingencies for both. If Kefi sure. gets spotted, they start to move, then they die on B to the, to the finish. If not, Vexite goes looking. He's like, it's a bit quiet. He loses his head, and Cadian's got all the space to, to, to quickly pivot here. So you can start immediately running towards A, and it works out for them. Really well structured. It's full eco, unfortunately, for FlyQuest as well. So that's going to be 9 to 5. Convincing finish from Naf. Molotov on top of the bomb as well. Alistair still believing, trying to keep morale high here. Tournament life on the line right here, right now on Anubis. USPs across the board, nothing invested. So can't imagine there'll be much to write home about here. Unless you want to write that they lost an eco. Really convincingly as they walk on in. Liaz has been found. Uh, oh, Alistair's no, what? got himself 1,500. That's, that's not bad. For the AWPer, that's massive. He can actually have the AWPer in the third round now. He would definitely wouldn't have had it otherwise. That's actually pretty pretty cool. Yeah, not bad work from Alistair. Two Ali. knives now on Anubis. In one map. In one playoff map. And uh, yeah, Liquid, after taking FlyQuest pick in regulation, it does look like they're making mincemeat on Anubis. Comfortable map for them. Uh, when when Liaz was asked about his uh, prospects for this head-to-head -head with Liquid, he acknowledged that the individuals of Liquid, they can go shoot hard. It's pretty smart from Alistair. But that could save the day. Yeah. He, like, admittedly, he dropped off. He was significant in finding them the first couple of rounds, build that momentum up. He did drop off. If he can find that form once again on the CT side, this could be enough. There'll be no orb on the T side here. They'll be expecting it, considering it was him that got the knife. This won't be a surprise to them. And they should adjust accordingly. Oh dear. Jekandar is on a heater today, but that is a good response. Leo's gets dinked in the process by the glow. He killed and Iliad, both of them. Skulls throwing out the uh, S attack nade set. We'll take a main control. Away from in, Dexter, full commit to the spam on mid side. God, it's very threatening utility set from Skulls, but FlyQuest aren't budging, they're not buying it. 
Good molly. Skulls. Does need to get out of there. Ali, in the meantime, found Naf towards T stairs, so they're all now just congregated outside A. Dexter will be able to cheat over to support Inns in a very forward position. This makes me a little uncomfortable here. Oh, Inns. This is an all or nothing. And Skulls is not expecting that at all. A second would have been huge. He puts KD not on 20. Could still go wrong. Bomb was spotted. 30 seconds trying to work this one out. Cadian with a bit of util. Got the molly as well. Dexter spots it out. Does hold his nerve. Okay, the Aussies now are going to be putting up a bit of a fight. This round communicates. Where does Anubis land on your uh, map preference sheet, Yanko? Is it uh, right in the middle? Um, Something like that. Probably bottom half now. Yeah? And I think Nuke is number one. For do, you, me. do you not buy uh, the kind of the shared opinion by many that it's one of the best designed new maps we've had in Counter Strike in terms of the way it plays and what it brings? I think more so because some are like really poorly designed. Mm, fair. Because there's still, you know, the problem with limited options for the CTs to deal with some of the aggression, especially like when it comes to early moves, they have to be kind of all in really, which means you'll just get punished and lose the round, or maybe you get like a small advantage. Not really a huge fan of that. Felt like your Kinder's dark pushes was something that's uh, probably going to be going to see a lot more of. Yeah, we're seeing the meta kind of shift towards smoking the T-steps especially, like yeah. a lot of pressure in that sense, and then throwing the nades towards her, you can Molotov towards carpet at the start, make things just super uncomfortable for the T's, but yeah, it Ooh. takes a lot of resources. That's a fumble. Vexite's Molly did not pop, and now your kind is going around the smoke. It's Vexite Profits, not overlooked. Oh, he's overlooked. Oh, oh dear. that's a big kill. Oh, a big death. Liaz is trying to save his boys, but he loses his head in the process. Hey, Dex is going this, though. Big. Gets oh, the bomb that's... down. Twist, having a duel with his ex teammate. Hey, Down and out. Almost Huge over frag from Skulls. Yeah. They need to recalibrate, though. He's still very loser. Inns has been one of the best players at this tournament thus far, so watch out for him. He could go absolutely massive here, coming in from Dark. He has got a kit, no utility, 100 HP. Two players to deal with. Twist is low, but they've played it really well. It's going to be difficult to segregate the two fights. <sighs> Look at that, yeah. They can just crossfire you from both ends, and Skull's coming back in towards Temple. He's got so much to do here. No, they've, they've played this very well. Their protocol for this is, is beautiful. Just so far away, it's impossible to isolate these jewels with time. Taking away... Sure, you have the kit, but no one's given you a fight. And now Skulls confirms he's off it. Twist can peek into the back. It's a lovely round, a convincing round from Team Liquid. Just three rounds away now. You can see the entourage there from Team Liquid. Going to have big smiles on their faces. Joker Steve, he's not uh, he's not going to be in a bad mood today. Um, Is he ever in a bad mood? I don't think I've ever seen Joker Steve in a bad mood. I've seen him in like a... You know, middling mood. Yeah, Ali's going to be frustrated about that one. That run down the Galil just swinging through. And um, that's... That's it. It's an important moment <laughs> of the game. He's had a couple of, you know, one in the first half, one in the second half. Just a little bit impatient, perhaps. The Dexter Hero M4. I'm kind of believing. He had the, the hot hand, to say the very least, in that first map. They've got a lot to deal with, though. Smoke down towards default. They're trying to provoke CT reactions here. They have actually broken through the initial B main entrance, and that, that should be a Dexter. Won't be able to do much here. Even with the M4, he's so far removed. They're both in towards T spawn, looking for exits at the very best at this point. Probably has to save the M4. Yeah, textbook stuff from Liquid. Well, to be fair, like, even if this does go down 2 0, you have to say, like, Fly quest upward trajectory. Mm, no doubt Getting about it. Getting better and better each tournament. Ranked top 20 for the first time in years in an Australian team as of today. Uh, in the playoffs of Pro League, doesn't look like this series will go in their favor right now at least, but uh, I think the team as a whole are looking like they're, they're doing much better than previous generations. I think it's also important like that they've had these couple of tournaments. Chengdu here, they have a spot at Dallas too. Yeah, true. So that combined with a couple of European boot camps that they've done, addition of Dexter, addition of a coach, as well, they were the yeah. only team without a coach for ages. I think all this sort of is starting to add up and, and add together, and we're finally seeing some 
progress from them, so it will be interesting to see how far can they actually go, how much can they improve. What's their ceiling, really, with this five? Oh, Inz is in a lot of trouble. The A anchor about oh. to have a oh, five whole players. Team. <laughs> Damn, full execution. Inz, oh, he's all bricked up at the back here. Yeah, he's going to be fended off. And now, oh, I think it's a sacrifice to Bombside. What can you do with his MP9? Ooh. Quite a lot, apparently. They're actually getting it done. Alistair, M4, gets a double kill and needs a lot more, but he's going to deliver. They keep their head above the proverbial water as Yekandar now smoked off and should be taken down here, he says. So he has a full back. The round looks secure, though. Yeah. No, I'm just uh, I'm watching through my fingers in the 1v3. You're kind of feeling a hot hand. Call the ambulance, but not for ins. <laughs> Definitely not. They MP9 delivering. I'll give that 9 out of 9. It was Alistair who did most of the heavy lifting on yeah. the rotate. Yeah, he got that. I mean, that's also I mean, the fact that in in that position with an MP9 and five people executing to a site, he is alive. He got a frag and the site has been defended. He's going to be feeling pretty good about that. They are stacked up, so that's going to work out for them. With their muskets. It was a bit weird that in a full five-man execute, you don't smoke heaven. Yeah. I don't know if maybe it was missed or what happened That's there, like but... The most default smoke you'd throw when you're making your way in towards A. Yeah, if that smoke was down, he gets nothing done. There's and no volley, there's no focus smoke. that area. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a very good point. Because like, then they all had to focus that position. The flanks were coming through. Alistair emerges from camera. So, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare for Team Liquid. The money's okay. Say that with baited breath. Nats for 1,500. They've got bottom of the barrel loss bonus right now. So Zeus has been called in. To offer up his services here. They are going to be purchasing into the round, but uh, once again, do or die for FlyQuest here. They've managed to pick up three AK 47s. So they can bring this one back to life. They can resuscitate the game. Team Liquid know it as well. Now fly on the Deagle. AKs are otherwise. This is the round. This decides the fate of FlyQuest. If you give this one up, your money's shattered. You're at map points, series points, and indeed elimination points. So. This is the one. Need to start stabilizing here. The call has been made. Skull's lining up some util from drugs to mid. Nash Those catching nades. it. Yeah. Bit of chip damage. This is a set piece here. Temple Smoke lands, mid-pressure applied, he's in trouble, but he holds his nerve. Dexter, can you get away from this? The wallbang from Cadian is threatening. He's swinging, he's missing, and he's, it's a Cadian frag. There's so much damage done, though. This one's recoverable. Liaz knows he has, that's a kill. No, he's tucked. Oh, you're right. Oh, Ooh. they lost oh, A, by the way. It was Liquid saw... Oh my god, they saw in so, they, they saw Ince on the kill feed, then immediately the two players True. outside the A main sped up. So that's why Lias has to be more active there. Either go A or, or try to win the mid fights now. A tough situation for Flag, but they do find Nav. 3v3 retake. Dang on. 3v2 retake. 3v1 retake. And it's Yakinda with, uh, with no health Just play for this. by play is easy. Yeah, yeah. you're doing Just it. Just say the numbers. Like That's all it is. <laughs> Just read the kill feed, man. That's it. Round over. Thank you. Yakinda, try next. Well, there it is. We said they had to win it. It's had a pretty convincing in the end as well. FlyQuest to nine map points. Three players surviving. Hold their nerve, especially Liaz. Great performance there with the AK in towards middle. And what could have been a very dicey round. Dexter did well as well. To even find a kill here with so much pressure. Good utility. And Vexite. He's actually looked fantastic on Anubis so far. Very crispy with the M4. If Naf gets one of those kills with the Desert Eagle, very tall order. Yeah. Could have been a different outcome. Yeah, he Liaz winning that duel in mid as well. Cadian just going own through the doors. Now it's getting a little bit conservative in the Liquid camp. David Cameron on the phone. <coughs> just Tech Nines here. British, of course. I haven't heard his name on a broadcast in a while, I'll be honest. Just throwing it back. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Brexit. Shows how out of date my UK politics is as well. Yeah. Gordon Brown. Anyway, 11 to 8. Yeah, as major. The Good, yeah. Blair. Oh, he's done well there, Mr. Blair. The Vexite's respected all the flames and they are testing him jail. It really hinges on Vexite at least getting one here. 
The Lurk Smoke is out. You have to hold both sides of it or they can slip. He's done well for one second from Dexter. They seem to have done enough to have repelled the commit. That Lurk Smoke is scary. And it might lead to a plant all the same. Cadian, go on. Knife him. <laughs> they can't, plan. They can't plan. stop him. He won't be winning yet, but that was the partial buy. The, the bomb is a welcome addition to the finish of the round there. It's going to be FlyQuest over their ninth. Three players surviving again, so they're building up some cash here at this stage. Dex at the top end, but uh, yeah, this, this game is well back on. Yeah, they uh, need to do what, sorry, Django, they need to do what Liquid did on their CT side, right? They had a six-round run of consecutive CT rounds. Uh, the bar is set high for FlyQuest, but three rounds on the trot, relatively competitive at all of the stops, even that turnaround on the uh, retake of A. What were you saying? Sorry. I was going to say I really like the uh, these rounds. Like, this is where you're supposed to call kind of your best strat, you know, for whatever you think is going to work against FlyQuest, like this is like your go-to round, this is where you go to it. Also for FlyQuest, what do you do? Do you just keep playing default? Do you have something different? Ooh. And it's going to be a B push. Okay, nice little adjustment here. You don't have to push much further than this. You've established control, you can lead a CT tux and a bombardment of utility as well to significant damage to two players. Now fly half HP towards the walking dead. Dinked. He got, he got dinked, dinked into a nade, it. yeah. 5 HP. So CT's got full control of B. It kind of, you've got no choice in this set. You kind of have to go in towards the A site and try and bully uh, yourself into the site before the rotations come through. So you know two players are pushed out of B. Nice Molotov, makes things uncomfortable. And Skulls wins the spam battle through the smoke, takes down the in-game leader, kind of resets the round at this point. They can wait for the rebuttal, but now Smoking Heaven. That one's going to be set up. And Skulls, tip of the speed, low HP, might as well go in first here. The flashbangs will go over. Smoke is deployed, will go up momentarily. Oh. Hell of a shot from the Brazilian. We'll see if he can continue to dominate this a bomb site that is skulls impact undeniably so that's a crazy shot that's that he can't retake this now he can't his, go for it his util put ins into that smoke spam battle that then he's won then he walks out on the low hp and is the spearhead into the a site there's nothing here for FlyQuest. And that's a Skull's hero round. He's at the top of the scoreboard as well, alongside uh, Naf and Kadian. I didn't think you had it at him. No? To be honest. Really nice. That was very good. Skull's hater here. Okay. <laughs> he had two huge <laughs> rounds on the T side, even in the sort of force buy that they had. He got a kill with the Tech 9 first in, uh, in Dark, and then the 1v1 versus Dexter in the bomb side. So some nice impact here from Skull's in the second half, and that puts Liquid on match point. A nice little move from Liquid, you know, Skulls is ahead of everyone else. As the utility is flying over, that's when he peaks. It catches yeah. in a little bit off guard, you know, in a different scenario, the CT player might pull an aid out as well. Yeah, it's a rough one, it's isolated, like, and it's, sure, like I said, it was Flycast getting that key territory on the map, but a great response there. You know two players have pushed, so the rotation times will be very slow. Might as well bully in numbers in towards A, and Inns couldn't hold on. So, tactical timeout used by FlyQuest. Tournament life on the line now. It's been a hell of a tournament for them. Great run in the playoffs. But now only three in a row to take us to overtime, and then potentially a third map, which would be ancient. So, got a lot to do here. I think you also see some of the details where they're just lagging behind a little bit, so... As Liquid is throwing that utility, deep A, Dexter and Ince, you know, do they want to throw a molly behind it to buy some time and get in front of the smoke? Do they want to boost? And you see one player wanted to do one thing, the other player the other thing. By the time they get to the boost, they are mollied. So that forces Dexter into the smoke fight. You know, it's like... Tiny, nuanced The details. dominoes yeah, fall rather quickly. I'm just being kind of decisive. It's a, it's a big factor at this level of play. So uh, let's see if they can hold on for another round or two. Liquid, they've got everything they need to finish. And a slow, methodical start. To have an understanding as to where that team map control can be found. Juggling an extra flashbang over towards the A side of the map. So they've got intentions. Skulls, he's got all the nades right now to put uh, Alistair under pressure. Oh, and he fired a shot with the flash. Vex 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 he's isolated a jewel. Take that. Very nice. He knew he had to commit to the frag, but whichever way it went, he was all in. Converts it. And now we've got a five on four. Three in a row required. The money's not amazing for Team Liquid, so just winning one of these key rounds could be enough to break through. Yekandar trying to pick up the pieces, though. Vex out. Maintaining.
control. This one's a drop of smoke. What can Twist do about this? Waiting for his opportunity to strike in towards middle. He's timed it well, but Dexter outpositions him. Good off angle. Oh, Dexter is not stopping. Franking up a storm bomb is under his control, and yeah, yeah Ali's going to nail Naf through the smoke. So it does seem like they will survive the night. Round 22 goes FlyQuest's way. Skull's left in a 18-second uh, 1v4. Dexter's even... Oh, you talk about angles. Look at his angle selection. This whole round has just been a master class, a master Ooh. stroke, and a stab. Have a knife. Back. Bloody hell. Three now. Three in one Anubis in a playoff game. Can I get a B stream update? Not a check in necessarily. They just won. Oh. 3D Max just won. No. Anubis, yes, the headsets are off. They're getting no. up. There was a nice, there were high fives. That's crazy. But the third map is Inferno. Okay, which historically does well for I mean, G2. I'm not really sure how G2 got the map pool of Inferno, Anubis, Nuke in a best of three. They're three best maps. So if they were to lose this one, Henry goes without saying, <laughs> would be shocking. <laughs> Absolutely shocking. <laughs> No, well, from gamers too. Okay, they, that's actually a tantalizing prospect. But back to our game that's still quite close. They, Absolutely. Lost, they lost this round last time the Luxbo came out on B. This B pins a maneuver. And that's a change. Liaz has found twist before the exec commits. Liaz dancing, dipping around the statue. Another smoke, pressure's coming, you can the skulls pressing from dark. Naf commits to the spray, bomb on his back, won't be the first to make the move. It's all Vexide. Come on, Vexide. He's killing Big it right shot. now. He is absolutely in the zone. Maintains the man advantage, cuts Team Liquid down to size. Four on three now, and Dexter, an assertive maneuver. Could cost them the round if he goes down. Does he continue to push? He's going to hold towards window for now. And as things start to... Temper down in general, we are going to see the 50-second mark. Great Ooh. shot from Alistair, finds the dome of Nafly. I think they've done enough. The money's going to be busted for round number 24. It's a 4-2 and two now, make it 1. Cadian can do nothing, presumably dropped in the back as well. Very nice round. These rounds, okay? That's two clean fucking rounds. Yeah, very clean. That's lovely, and I think their money's done. They've got like 3k on average, I think. Less than that, 2,500. So Zeus, what have you got for us? He'd love to avoid overtime here. It's going to require a set piece of Tech Nines and a beautiful call required here. That was just a really good job of oh dear. FlyQuest of harassing, you know, uh, Team Liquid with utility. Liquid understands that FlyQuest was finding success with these early or a little bit delayed B plays, aggressive plays for information. So, okay, we want to split B. We're going to keep coming at them, coming at them, throwing utility, but just great job cut with Counter utility, spamming through the smokes, all that stuff from FlyQuest, and they hold on. Some good reads as well. A couple of times they could want to go B, they yeah. are 3B ready but, but for boys, it. But boys, why am I so nervous for FlyQuest in this one? There's something round. about it. You shouldn't be. There's something about it, Yanko. They're fine. <laughs> Fine. Just the most heartbreaking way to lose a comeback is against a Deagle, a couple of Mac 10s, a pace change, your anchors get overwhelmed, it can all go wrong. It could go wrong, but it won't go wrong. Says Yanko Palanovic. If anyone's looking to research the jinx, as I see it, five gathered. Five for A. But then their life. best player holds A. That's true too. He's had a bad day though. Which bad means map. his luck is surely going to turn now, Alex. I don't like this optimistic game. Look at this, the information play. Dexter's going to be on a quick flank. Execution, here we go. Stop Deep being a doomer, boys. Alex. It's up to Inns. He's taking a lot of damage on Ruby. He's absolutely fine for now. They're going to be start swarming his position, however. Oh They've got control of the bomb site. Good utility in response. Damage inflicted to multiple Team Liquid players. There's no bomb planted as of yet. Inns will have to wait now. They smoked him off, and it's really on a knife's edge. But it looks like FlyQuest are starting to mop them up and retake the bomb site efficiently. We've got a five on two. The job is surely done at this point. We're going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. Yekindar can do nothing. Thing. Oh, he can do something, but the defuse is coming in. Liaz is on it, and we are off to overtime. What a recovered half, considering it was 7-5 and they match it. CT sides getting the majority of rounds. I can see frustration. It's, it's palpable from Liquid side. Yep. I think they know they had it in regulation. A couple of slip-ups and a couple of clean ones from the Aussies. Wow, they are really putting up a fight. It's tenacious from FlyQuest. 12-12, first it was 13-10, of course, on the first map. Now we get to see the extra rounds. The problem is Liquid have been a step behind towards the tail end of this game. You know, they weren't close to winning these rounds on the T side. 
So they're still struggling to find an answer, to find a way to penetrate the defense from FlyQuest, and now they're going for some A main aggression, it looks like. Oh, this nade is going to do significant damage. <sighs> Alistair with his wings clipped, but still lives to tell the tale. 10 HP as he challenges towards A main. Cadian's going to feel a bit hard done by there. Leg shot onto the AWPer. Very late nade from in. Cadian's long gone. Double dark set up for the B defense. Kinder investigating. He thinks they're much further progressed than they are. Oh, Vexai flirting with aggression. It's not in his best interest with the all posted skulls. Kinder walking in. Yeah. Not setting up the flashbang just yet. Suggest so they'll wait for the smoke to dissipate, try and contact it, unless Cadian's got the god flash from the bridge, which can be thrown. Ah, Kinder. Kinder. Okay, it's got to go in, I guess. 38 HP! You had your nade in your hand, the necessary trade. An ugly death for Vexai. Leah's under a lot of scrutiny now, backs away into the side. No, Alistair's gone down, and the B side will fall. Okay, well. No chance for this retake to work out. It's Dexter, Molotov, Dolph, Bomb Planted. They've still got another smoke which they can drop towards Tempo, and which they will. Uh, almost zero chance of this retake going well. Guess you'll give it a, a little look. Just a lucky Lou. And there we have it. It's always funny how the team that needed one T round, they, yeah, I know. they come back. <laughs> they they'll, they'll three zero this half. Yeah, first like, round of overtime was great. Just tiny missteps from FlyQuest. I mean, they even heard the Kinder burn and still allowing to get a kill on a player who didn't even have his gun out. No, really cool. Like the fact that Yakinda went forward because they heard the burning, but obviously you're gonna be you're gonna make the assumption that he's moved out of the flame as opposed to forward into just in that slight safe spot, catches a timing, Vex out with the nade in his hand. It's even like Lias can move on the same line as Vexite and just sort of cover that peak for him because the problem was also Vexite had all the nades. Leas didn't have everything. So when Vexite dies, there's nothing Leas can really pick up to buy some more time. Alistair misses the shot or I'm not really sure how he died and the defense just collapses, but that's all right. Yeah. It happens. New round, new chance. There. Smoked off on middle. And Twist had a good first half, but not really finding a lot of success in the second. Dexter had his number in some of these mid fights. Oh, wow. Nice. One more time. Just they were waiting for the T's to pop their own smoke. And two players ready and waiting, one of which is the orb. Nap. I uh, don't think this play is going to work out for you, my friend. Saw his opportunity to try, maybe save the day, but uh, ultimately. It's looking very clean now. It's going to be 13-13, no problem. Last round will be up for debate. Bear in mind, he's added map, so any rounds in overtime on the CT side, very welcome addition to Flyker's set up here. So we go 1-1. One, one. Dexter's not like that, but he could easily stand up and say, I know what you're doing. That's I know true. what yeah. you're doing. Yeah, that would be good. Think actually. of something else, right? <laughs> <laughs> he did. But that's exactly what happened here, you know. They're going to clear the mid-smoke. Ali post on the angle. I got left. You got right. Bang. 5v3. 13-13. I mean, it has been CT side dominant, right? So if you can leave with two out of the three, you'll be a very happy oh, CT. No. That's a fumble. No and flash. It... Ali's on the line. Yeah, they presumably flashed again. Smoke goes down. Oh, that's a fumble. Horrible start to the round there. Skulls essentially gives himself up a free just didn't really anticipate the all being there, I suppose. But it definitely is. It's looking good for a 2-1 first half in overtime here. Got to try and get that frag back in their favor. Jumping across. Ooh, what? Alistair starting to hit some bangers now. Yeah, he was almost caught off guard by that, but adjusts very quickly. Nice work from Ali. It's Squiss on the low HP. Brave to go for that trade. Provides it. Now they know where Liaz was. He's just thrown out a smoke dart. Quick to reposition. I like this. This is smart from Liaz. He concedes B, shows presence dark, and now he's re aggressing middle. Cadian, look like it. He's not ready. Oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. He's considering it. So they're going to try and pit the gap through mid. Not a single member of FlyQuest on a bomb site right now. Great awareness from Cadian. He was anticipating both of these aggressions just a little off timed.
they're playing themselves a little bit. FlyQuest here, they need some information, and Insta finds good timing on Twist. That was close. Very close. So we're done here, boys. Cadian magic required here, and it's actually not a bad start. 15 seconds, however. Bowman is back. He's up against Dexter and Liad. They've got him surrounded. He's got a good understanding of the oh, situation. No, no We're onto something here. Another Cadian clutch of one point of help. What? Oh, he spotted him! He doesn't know how close he was. God damn. We go 2-1 in favor of FlyQuest, but Cadian almost pulls that one off. <laughs> it was a real world. <laughs> oh my, he was so busy. He was looking the other way as well. He was like looking up to jump. We've seen a fair share of Cadian 1v3s, yep. but this would have been one of the sickest ones, simply because in the 1v2, there's no way he can expect both guys to be or towards B so close, right? I think that's why he, once he gets the kill on the dark player, isn't really focused on the last one outside B, but yeah, that would have been incredible. No <laughs> the way Ali's eyes dart up yeah. <laughs> straight away as the smart glass clears, and he, yeah, he's got that face, he's got that war face. And I like this timeout from FlyQuest. It's been so long since they played the T side, and they haven't really had success outside of the you know first six, seven rounds. Yeah. So just sort of Urkast maybe Reminding them what was it that they were losing to, what are the potential things they have at their disposal that they could try and do. They didn't really try to go mid at all, so I'm curious to see if they put more emphasis on mid on their T side. Yeah, Twist has been enough of a problem. They haven't been able to get past him. Interesting start, division of their resources. They start more three towards the canal side. Ali escorts Vexite's walk up. Cadian posts his orb towards main side. The skull's tucked in close. Oh, and there's the sound cue off the back of a flashbang. Orp is A, he says. Does, does that have you edging towards B a little quicker? Oh, they're really filling out the map, trying to provoke CT reactions, and they're getting one. His skull goes down at the start of the round once again. Inquisitive towards A main. Walking. It's nothing for us. Walks into the scope. Easiest kill. Balanced his map so far. He's up to 15. Nice nade from Yakindar. Doesn't do any damage though, however. They're playing in front of it and they've got that always strong trade potential from FlyQuest. Good spacing each and every time. Yeah, taking shape now for a 15th. Nap trying to be proactive. He loses his life. He has out main twist. He's tucked to the back of the site. There's a small window of opportunity for him now as the bomb goes down. He spams and tries to find Liaz, but absent bullets into spamming. Woo! Inns can't finish his meal. Not like this, FlyQuest. Be cool. Be cool, Cadian. He burns down to 50. Quite the opposite, of course. They've got map points here, boys. They've done it. Cadian, once again, like this, another position's like, sure, like, if he does something unbelievable, he can win it. We'll give him the opportunity to do so, but he's got no utility to speak of. Three players, three different angles, and Alistair makes light work of him. One more. They're feeling it. On their opponent's map pick as well. Damn. Very impressive turnaround. I mean, I really did think that their shortcomings in the first half were going to haunt them in the second. They just made, they've dropped so much utility in B. But it was all a ruse. They wanted that push to come through. They were trying to provoke that mm. um, information hum there from Skulls. And once again, he goes down at the start of the round. And that's the key to go. That's when they make their way through Dark and trade out those kills. Didn't even suffer any casualties on route. 3v1 for Caden to try and win again. And it comes down to this. It's now map point for FlyQuest. They've done great to bring this one back to life. It looked like Liquid had it locked in in regulation. And now they're the ones with their backs to the wall. Two rounds in a row required here from Cadian. It all starts here. They've got a nice full buy here. AWP still out. And Ford's across the board. And I'll see if FlyQuest can end it early. Get out of here, take us to Ancient. Another map that FlyQuest have been uh, certainly earning themselves some respect upon. Let's get into things. The mix-up is Twist starting B. Cadian takes the AWP for the mid-hold. Nice little flash set from Dexter. You can see the pressure that it puts onto the Doors player in combination with the Molotov. Forced back to cameras. Pressure felt.
double dark setup. If you try and wrap this smoke, you are dead, men. Need to clear them. Exposed and executed. Magnificent start for Yaginder and Twist. But now they know that's Twist. He's been nameplated. Acadian now been spotted as well, holding on to the A side. They him. know what the setup's like. Good cover. Skull's a necessary frag. Yeah, having Dexter had to go for that. He, he knew it was the AWP, and uh, he's going to have to fall back, reposition, scramble almost. But as you mentioned, Skulls was there to pick up the pieces. Should be a locked in round, should be in the operative word, but we'll see if Team Liquid find a way to give this one up. Skulls has been a little bit clumsy at times. Give me up his frag. 35 seconds. Alistair has been red hot with his AWP with KDM or best in this time. Just this, Liaz. This all comes down from FlyQuest not really utilizing mid except for Dexter to lurk on his own. So mm. that really allows Liquid to play just 3-2 and, and be strong on B and sort of have two players on A, uh, whether that's going to be Kadian holding mid like he did just now or Skulls from a different angle. So I really think that has to be the adjustment because if, that's where the gap is in the defense the gap is mid but where they, where do you expect them to to finish with mid with mid like uh is it does it have to be acentric or is it more just as a way to force some of the b players to acknowledge the mid gap i think it's easier to just go a yeah i mean skulls is the anchor and skulls has been having a good game yeah, but 19 frags which team it is whether it's g2 or vitality or navi but there's teams that have this fast sort of a split with heavy mid mm, that they use sometimes in half buys i think that would be a strong round for FlyQuest. double orb setup boys uh, there'll be an ak elsewhere but fact remains you don't see many of these on the t side and it's Divinus Alistar. This time finds Big? yet another opener. Yekandar. What was that peak? Where's Dexter? Oh. Okay, he's on mid. So I'll go have another Set AK and spawn. That's always a guarantee. What an opening frag. This could be the third map. They've got a five on four advantage. The orbs have done their work. They've got to reset now. They've still got so much utility available on the T side. Someone needs to make a play on Team Liquid. They need information. They need a rotation. You can see now Fly trying to work out where to reposition. He's currently going through spawn. Kadian holding middle of the AWP, but his nemesis, Alistair, is on Rue. The next kill could decide the fate of the round. Kadian doesn't want to trade with Alistair. Just maintains the 4-on-4 four four situation. You can see they don't have the intel. They don't know what the next move is. The bomb on the back of Ali in the middle on his own. Lots of uh, pressure audible towards A. Kadian and Naf magnetized towards that side of the map. The smoke from Ali will sow seeds of doubt. That's good work as they pivot into B. It is underguarded. The pennies drop. Kadian's aware. Twist rotates through. 20 seconds. Nice flash. Ali needs to be planting, but he's fragging first. A huge shot with the AK from the Orpa gets across the line of Kadian. No, no, he's yeah, getting aggressive. No, no, he no. tries to plant, knocks him off the bomb. Ten seconds. Inns, you need to be planting. Instead, he's They're dying. Not. Eight seconds. Vexite giving it a go. Liaz has hit the shot. This could be enough, and we're off to the third. The Aussie stands strong in the overtime. Not done yet on FlyQuest. As well, for, so uh, for both teams, map, well, for, for both teams probably. That's why it's the decider, right? No one really wanted to pick it, understanding it's going to be there as the third. What's interesting to me is to see how Cadian's perception of ancient interacts with Dexter's. Cadian on heroic, they were the masters of the kind of the evolution of ancient, some of the mid rounds, some of the CT reaggressions, and then you got Dexter, who has made FlyQuest ancient look like one of the best maps in their pool. Let's get into the pistol. That's a, a fast day by the looks Very of fast here. day. Ali's already thrown the smoke. It's yeah, in the air. The flash is over the top. There's three players here to respond to this. One big box, one sight, one donut. Smoke's late from Cadian. Skulls has to hit his shot, and he has... Oh, that's a lovely one, two punch. Temple, sight, shots, oh, hit, clean. Easy. Not a point of damage from the Aussies. Yeah, so no bomb down, not even a chance of damage. That is the best type of round that Liquid could pick themselves up with going into this third and deciding map, because I think the tilt was on the faces. I went out there quickly between the maps and they were walking back from their team discussion. There were some that uh, were definitely not looking too happy. This is uh, a good way to wash away the tilt. It's a best of one now. And it should be a 2-0 start as FlyQuest are only going to bring a, a smoke in the hands of Dexter into this round. 
You do Lurk, Smoke, and Plant? I don't know. Maybe do Extinguish the Molly, I guess. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. No round Molly. They're in. Oh, they're ahead. It's actually uh, horrible, 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 horrible. Uh, nice try. No kills, two rounds. You hate that. You hate it. You do Even one that. kill would be really good in the second round. Then also in the first round, you know, guys, obviously everyone survives. Some players didn't even take damage. That's just a 350 to upgrade yeah. the armor. I'm even surprised they have three MP9s. You would expect more M4s. So that's actually a good thing for FlyQuest. You died to Skulls, who had an M4, so... Maybe a little bit of a positive. You have to be expecting aggression now with the amount of MP9s in the mix. See, FlyQuest up with your limited utility. Oh, okay, ins behind the molly. Catches a light tag of damage. Oh, double elbow smokes. So, Team Fumble. Liquid's comms a little bit dicey. Playing with fire is backside. That's an MP9 close ramp. You don't want to be seeing too much of that. Good pressure, though. Forces out more utility from the B defense and did it quite safely. One smoke remaining for the CTs and lots of time. But look at this A main control from Yukinda. It's actually huge, right? The fact that you know that A isn't a threat, it really alleviates a lot of issues. Now, if they go through middle to donut, which this smoke indicates, they'll have 180 degree jewels to deal with. But this is also what Elish told us in the in the podcast chat. You know, in Liquid, you can see shades of heroic. The double smoke elbow simulating, you know, and actually showing mid pressure now into a 4B setup, double cave. Right, keeps FlyQuest guessing. Fact, I screwed here. He's getting one. Oh, the bait. It's hard to re into that. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, there's some info. You've just spotted ramp. You spot cave. They have to get past the kid. If they don't get past, you can round over. The bomb's going A main. Thirty-eight seconds left. They flashed for this before. I know they've got it in them. In's trying to slip past. He's not clearing his board. It's where it's a beautiful off angle there. Cleared. Not flashing. Not cleared. And not flashing. Just like that. Yakinda's patience is round winning. Oof. And they've gone for more of a default round. You need to get a kill here just for the confidence on either Vexai or Dexter. Mm. You can't have three rounds to start the game with not a single kill. 15 seconds remaining. Too many angles to worry about. Probably hoping for the save. Call this one done. There's a kill. For there confidence. you go. If they I go told down you after gets time, one. though, after time really hurts. Oh. Oh. Really? It really does. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Vexite's a dead man. $650 dollary dues, I believe that's the currency. Yeah, there. that feels as bad as, like, getting knifed or Zeus. Like, that and actually has bigger ramifications than getting knifed or Zeus. I think in a, in a strange a, scenario, I think that was, that was actually worth it. The, the fact hunt? that he got one kill, no, the fact that he got one kill, it's not as bad as it looks because they were going to have buy, you know, they were going to eco here anyway. Just sucks for him, he can't buy a pistol. They kind of need a plan. He, ha he gets 3400 next round. So, you know, he's going to be able to buy an AK armor. Even Galil, if he wants full utility, you know, just have to play with the Galil. The but who knows? Dexter Deagle. He got full, full, full B lane control. And yeah, nice attempt Dexter just goes for the Hail Mary but something that's important here is like there is a uh, there is a difference believe me whether you're you know you could be losing 4-0 but a couple of close rounds yes. something's happening right or losing 4-0 in the manner in which Team Liquid has been winning rounds like that's going to impact what Liquid's players are going to call in freeze time what do they want to do how are they going to play you know guys like Nav Twist, Skadian didn't even die yet yeah. in this half at all, right? And that also has to affect... You need to be aware of that if you're Dexter and understand how they're going to play and how that... Importantly than anything, you can't lose spirit if you're FlyQuest. You still need to play with some cojones. As the leader of getting 16 owed, uh, when these Been games there. are going against you, right? They go so quick, right? And for FlyQuest, they were just riding such a massive high from the victory on the previous map. Right, another comeback. This one's successful. Need this from Ali, but Yakinda out cave. Easy, way too easy. There is no resistance from FlyQuest. They need a timeout. They need one yesterday. Oh, that is... Look where the bomb is. I mean, put yourself in the shoes of Ali. First orb, boost me, mate. Thank you very much. There's an... SMG in the side of my head and he's killed both of us and the round is already over. Why isn't anyone nine. holding it? Why is there not smoke cave oh. if you're going to go yeah, for something exactly like right. that? exactly right. There oh. are ways to deal with it. Their, their default has fallen apart completely. And that's the problem. At this point, they're not playing Ancient at all. Like, 
they're not playing Counter Strike. Yeah, they're yeah. not getting to play Counter Strike yet. Fly Quest, it's deathmatch, I guess, that they're playing at the moment, and they're losing. But this is what I thought would happen on Mirage, right? The conversation I started on map number one was yeah. the fact that Liquid go into this. Nice shot from Liaz. Just being able to ego pick, right? Go aggressive, take a lot of fights, know that they're the better team. They had oh. good map pool for it. Skull's actually losing quite a bit of HP there. If Ian's get this oh, one. Yeah. Bomb spotted. Yeah, he's going to be audible here. Yeah, dead. Oh, 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 oh! He's watched to his Molotov as he spotted the play. Okay, he's going to dunk on him. And Liaz, they know where you were. What the fuck is going on? They know where he is. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. I thought he saw the bomb. Who was it? Naf. Yeah. Because he was yeah. inside door and there yeah. was a smoke. I guess it was behind the box and he never checked it, didn't see it. No, it was on him. He had it on him. Well, before that though, after the kills came in, that's where they dropped it outside and they'd actually pushed through the doors. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But regardless, like, how is this happening? I guess Vexite was blinded by the flash and then couldn't cover Alistair. Maybe there was like a double flash from Kaden. I'm not sure, but... Well, at least they've taken the time out. Urkar's doing his best to try and rally the troops. This is the basketball timeout, right? Like the other team is on a streak, they're on a 10-0 run, and you just need to take a timeout, sit these guys down. This isn't know? an Al Pacino yeah. speech. We're the heal now as a team. You need a, you need a half time. Well, we crumble. That. Yeah, we need a Stallone here. Not about getting knocked down, it's about getting back up. Fly quest. They do need a round. They um, need frags, actually. Yeah, That's what they need. In frags. When, Let's start there. <laughs> yeah. When you are in this sort of a situation that fly quest is in, there's in reality two things you can do, right? Like either you group up a little bit more and try just and trade. brute force your way in somewhere, try to trade, or hope that you pick the weak spot for liquid because there's always they're always like doing calculated gambles, or you play in a defaulty way, like you have faith in the players and then just abuse the over-rotation, right? Like, pull him nice. on a string. Ah! <sighs> Throw the damn towel! This one hurts. After such a good first two maps. First two, first two. Not like this. Why did I, I died. You sat back down for this. You could be warming up for the actual game of the day. Actually, Where's in Jason's defense, mode? in Jason's defense, um, I would see him in the, the warm-up booth. But yeah, if anyone's just joined us or missed crunch. the announcement, there is a 1v1. We're into the playoffs now, uh, not only uh, at Pro League, but also at the Pro League 1v1 between our talent team. The roster is, uh, we have Chad Burchill taking on Jason Moses. O'Tor. I hope I get more kills than this. I, th I <laughs> suspect you might. Ali. Ali. That's a start. That's a lovely opener from the Orpa. He's put Twist down in an early grave and gets away with his life. Yeah, good bravery, right? Ali is known for those aggressive type of maneuvers. So to see him actually pull one off on, what, round number seven. Finally need to get something going. Number advantage. Have to convert this. Kadian going for an extremely <laughs> audacious play. That's what Yanko was talking about. Be aware of where their heads are at. Yep. <laughs> Better watch your smoke. Very brave from Kadian. Let's put it that way. I will say you have to put your kinder down. He can't just keep walking and peeking down B lane whenever he fancies, calling that info every time. This is a def deviation from the norm. He's been forced back. Out mid. Well, it goes without saying, you have to convert this round. At this juncture of the game, a two-man advantage, as Yanko likes to call it, a power play. Yes, indeed. Oh, ahead of this. Ahead. Important, important for Dexter to be ahead of that. And you can see, right, the gamble from Liquid sending two players towards A. Maybe even Naf is going to start making his way over there after that smoke. It's Naf the Immortal, though. But at this point is where if you're FlyQuest, okay, uh -oh. let's just group up. This is already taking a little bit too way long. Way too long. You know, Dexter across the smoke. They're checking T-Spawn. Well, there you know, go. they expect, like, overly aggressive Liquid players. That's a bad swing. Oh no, 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 no. How does this one fall apart? Now it's gotten two, almost three ins. Rides the ship momentarily. Skulls is here. Yakinda's on the flank. Smoked off. Long and short, long fading. Dexter making a play. Flash doesn't find Skulls. Good turn from him. Brazilian's company, Ooh, too far away. Nice. He's going to be isolated. Good aggression from Dexter. And uh, the opener from Ali does look to be converted. Uh, and it's still Yakinda. He's still a problem. And he's used his smoke prematurely there. I think it's okay because if he makes sure that these two go down to the bomb, right, they're only going to get the win bonus and uh, with oh, see, the residual yeah. cash they have. So the damage is great. If they don't get the orb back, Ali won't have it. And Ali got the opening pick within that round. So 
very positive signs there. See, they've actually fled the scene. They haven't even been able to scavenge that back. I think the problem is, though, FlyQuest need... Dexter can drop one. They just. need five rounds here. Five? Anything below but five and they're, and they're gone. Last two maps have been five, seven halves uh, against them. So, hey, maybe they can pull it off again, especially if Kadian keeps pushing smokes like that. The problem is, I mean, for them to get five, they need to win five gun rounds. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the cash is crazy. So that would be a massive turnaround. Let's see now, Kadian, probably aware, was taking a little bit of a piss last round, so let's get back in line, son. I do Out again. admire the aggression attempt. Can they really get past Liquid's mid setup? It seems they can. I think Skulls missed his nade. I think it went too deep to clear, but Yakinda, you said he's a problem. Keeps Walter out cave. Outrageous. He even peeks again. Double peeking it into an AWP, no less. He gets away with his life. Oh, Yakinda is a stubborn mule. They used a lot of utility to try and get this mid control. They can't just give it over. So Yakinda, he'll actually back off. This helps out FlyQuest an awful lot. The bomb over towards A-Main on the back of Alley. That AWP needs to be careful with the scope. Could be heard from Nafin Donut. Skulls could find a great timing. He's in a position to profit here. They're not overcommitting. Oh, they're going to boost. They they're going to boost. He's going to get at least one. There's Call it off, boys. Don't lose the bomb. Kinder, you've just been spotted. Ali's got the bomb on his back. He's going to die to the swing. Gets his knife and gets out. Bomb is isolated. 50 seconds. Have Kadian. To go B. He's going to clear this. Vexite's tucked in towards the beehive. Kadian has a very sneaking suspicion that there is a ramp holder here. Vexite hidden, but about to be cleared. It's Kadian's frag. Whoa. Ramp open. He's got control. Nade's good as well. Liaz needs this kill or there's no way in. But Kadian has the easiest gun in the game. It's flawless on the close. Locked down. Seven CT rounds for Team Liquid. And, and the bar that Yanko set, it's already been reached. They would need to convert the rest of these and it doesn't look like they're even got the funds. Yeah, and it's going to be a half by here for FlyQuest. Maybe a AK dropped for someone. Just try to maybe steal around. The thing is, if mid biff's not working and you can't get B lane space, then it's really hard to play fast on Ancient. You have to play slow and go for late round control. And without full utility and full weaponry, it does get quite difficult. Well, there's an AK. Vexite bought it for himself. With the loss bonus going into the next, he'll be able to buy yet again. But this kid, his mechanics are strong. Lurk, smoke, and search. They're trying to set him up. Great name. Bang. Perfect from Naf. Flash is good. You kinder's copy. Dead. Next effect, that's just not cleared. He's overlooked it completely. A free frag for your kinder. He's having a hell of a half. 11 frags, proactive CT side. FlyQuest, they're just dissolving before our very eyes here. Skulls is uh, A anchor duties. He's been oh, doing all right. I Liaz had a great take nine round on this A site earlier in the tournament. Back in the group oh! stages. Now the Deagle's lighting up. Naf finds Dexter. Bomb to be planted on A. There is a chance. This will be a fire starter for FlyQuest. It certainly could be, but Inz is on that AWP and he's trying to get into a power position. Just going to be holding the cross. Alistair's hit a great headshot onto Naf. Inz has the AWP for Temple and for the Brokey Angle. Liaz likely to go down here. Yakinda, one more bullet would take him out of the equation. Liaz is run down. It takes some heroics from Twist. They do have a smoke. They do have a kit. Still goes wrong. Oh, they've tagged him. Twist lives on. A second chance, smoke on the bomb. This can still go wrong. Ali needs to hit his shot. Such a kinder's faking it out. Ali's panicking. They're both panicking, unloading their bullets. They'll find him in the smoke, and the round is fly quests. Just eagles. A fire starter, Chad, is an apt descriptor. Oh, well, they lose everything, sure, but Yanko mentioned half buy, so there was going to be more than enough catch for a purchase. So they can work back into this. If anything's going to help with your confidence, it's hitting a couple of zingers on the deagle, right? It's to show, hey, look, we can still do this. We can still go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Here's the Liaz on the skulls. Bang. Oh, bloody hell. And Dexter as well with a little gap pip. So two absolute perlers of shots there. Heard that one before? A perler? No, I like that a lot. Yeah. The Australian's coming out. Katie, not happy with that one. Chance to break back in for FlyQuest. They're going to hold the pace for the moment. Undeterred. Undeterred what is Vexite. What hell? Spam. Nade. But he's pipped the gap. Dead to cave. Dead to cave. Dead to cave. I Every time he tries. Yakinda probably heard some of the tags through the smoke. He's gone for a fake B plant. It's forced a huge rotation. And now Inska's got oh eight for free. Hey, wait, what?
That's so cheeky. What? He That's just used sick. the Lurk Smoke fake That's plant. Sick. No way. And gets out. When's the penny going to drop, boys? Come on, let's now? keep running. Run, run, now. run. Now. Kadian's a bit sus. And into Ali this he comes. so strong, though. So strong. Bang! Just like that, what a round FlyQuest are putting together here. Liaz needs to chill. If he tucks in right now towards the cutout, he's in a very strong position. This would be daylight bloody <laughs> robbery. <laughs> After all of that from Vexite, it was actually worth it. It's, ooh, chill your beans. But look at the mollies. They, they can constrict. Get them out. Buy seven seconds. Hold these choke points at bay. Are they just going for damage again? Look how far away these yeah, two are. looks like it. That was sick. What a move by Dex. <laughs> I haven't seen this since Furia. On Vertigo? Like Furia does this on, on Inferno as well. Inferno B, like they throw the Fnatic smoke, smoke first boxes, right? And they tap the plant in it and go back to A. I saw a crazy team. I forget who it was. Oh, so many casualties though. That hurts. <laughs> Ali, they come. For you. Oh, he's got it. Okay, important AWP save. Again, an impactful kill for Ali. Yeah, and props to Liquid for, <laughs> you know, the smile. you can get really frustrated from this happening and sort of overcommit to the retake and lose everyone and then all of a sudden you have a half buy or something. You know, they didn't get Look let the their rotation. emotions get the better of them. They played for <laughs> exits. Because the they already team. have a big lead. Yeah. Because, I mean, what's... Like, you're not, you're not wrong for the comm to be they're planting B. Yeah. Planting B. I mean, that's what you've he just had. the bomb, you know? Yeah. Fake planted. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah. He did fake plant. <laughs> yeah. The sick thing that will happen now is, you know, maybe the anchor on the other side, if they go for something like that again, might be later on the retake. Also. So, uh, you know, they definitely, moments like that definitely have ramifications. But that's also something for when we're talking about rounds where you take advantage of their over rotation. Okay, this is not exactly that. It's just a really cool little move. From FlyQuest. And but, on the fly. But that, yeah, true to their name. But uh, yeah, works out perfectly. And they have some life now. They have some breathing room. This is an A executor, it has to be. Vexite's going over towards B lane with the Mac 10 to try and get some space. It can keep him a bit springier. Yeah. Wants to negate your Kinder. But Twister's got a lot of space in towards middle. It wasn't A fast. Donut Smoke landing. Has it missed? Now it's just taking its time. So that is to buy them space in middle. They're pressuring A. Smoke's going to clear ins versus twist in an important duel. Dexter Smoke CT. Oh, he just got spammed. Vex, I literally just got wall bang from now. He's having Hundreds a nightmare, nightmare half. Wall bangs, uncleared corners, nades, molotovs, orps, deep clears. I mean, it's been tough. Uh, oh. Yeah. Cadian. Three on A, though. Audible on the scope. A nice frag from Ali. Takes down Skulls with a what? cross shot. Naf has found another onto Liaz. How's he pulled that one off from the temple position? And a 2v4. Dire circumstances for the two of them. No util either. What do you do here? There you might have to say. Nothing mm -hmm. here for you. But even if you start to hedge back, your Kinder can always push and just tighten that noose. Ali's probably going to get blindsided by this NAF position, but he has to know he's here. Or at least he was. And NAF's got him. That's a rise. They, they thought he would have evacuated. That's a kill. And uh, there's another NAF up to 16. As easy as that. Finance is in the absolute mud for FlyQuest going into the final round of the half. We have to give flowers to NAFLI's B at B anchoring here. Everything Vax Vexite has tried, he's just... He's a step ahead. Oh, jeez. The combination of your Kinder and Naf have just ruined FlyQuest's Ancient. Well, that's the thing. As soon as Naf gets that kill, he starts hedging over towards A. Your Kinder pops his head out of cave, says, Hey, boys, sector clear. Okay. No dramas, no noise, no spam, no nades. And they know it's going to be A. So if Vexite doesn't go down, maybe a completely different looking round. But that's, that's not the way she crumbled. She being the cookie. That's Tech 9. It's like a little bit of chip damage early and they have got jag control oh actually if you, if you you die to your kinder like that you need a trade from ins and the deagle comes out for body damage to here blood loss though important yeah he still maintains control of cave four smokes invested into this push twist hiding in between them all amongst the smoke grenades ahead of it snaff as well dexter with the tech nine catches him off guard and this. Spray, a messy one naf's got two hp can't finish off the job nade lands on top of twist 70 for him Dexter's actually running into them. He's done so much damage. Naf and Skulls are bleeding out here. 
It's the last round of the half. They'll give it everything it's worth. Skulls with the flame. Ali running him down. Skulls has managed to find another. It's a 1v1. Alistair has the distinct health advantage. Has the Kev and he's just holding it. Ali's going to overthink this. Not enough time. Not enough time trying to run him down. Not planted for you. Liquid take it. Skulls with an impactful close. It's 9 to 3. FlyQuest, it's emergency meeting time. Liquid are close to knocking you out. Not far away now, Liquid, they only need four, and they'll be securing themselves a spot in the next stage of competition. The quarterfinals await for the victor in Team Liquid FlyQuest. Yes, it's three maps, the Aussies impressing throughout the first two, but it seems like Ancient just a little too much to ask. Astralis waiting in the wings for the winner. Yeah, Stown and Yabby versus Katie, and we love when we get to see those two locking horns. And with this setup, think about how close they'll be. <laughs> Well, the Chinese fans loved getting involved in that, didn't they? they well, did. FlyQuest, they're hedging their bets heavy mid. But just Dexter, weight of the world on his shoulders. They're jumping up mid. This is whack-a-mole for your kinder. He's got a molly for the post plant, yo. USP's in cave. You don't love to see that. Smoke for the bomb on Dexter, though. That'll negate the molly. No, if you die before you get there, FlyQuest are just losing, dropping like flies. One back from Inns. Nice stab, see? Mm -hmm. We haven't had an ins round in a while. Ali's pushing as well, trying to... Inns has hit it. 
Inz has hit it. Where's the oh, kit? kit? No Where's kit, the kit, but the 10 second defuse is going to have to be held. Where is it? Where is this from Kade Kade? And if he just hits Inz, it's over. Oh! And he's hit the shot! What is that? A 4K from Inz to save FlyQuest hopes and dreams. He's doing the flirk. <laughs> he's doing the flirk? Yeah, that's the Taz dance. I didn't oh, know is that the, the Is that the name? Yeah, the flirk. Okay, all right. It's flirking. Because it's flank slash lurk. It's I like the flirk. It. Okay, the flirk. Uh, yeah. Team Liquid didn't have to play the round what? like this at all. You kinder burn the molly, right? He used it. was like, hey, let's just kill him. They literally said, let's just frag him. That's exactly the mindset shift here after it went so well for Team Liquid out the gates. But they're not out of hot water just yet, FlyQuest. That's great. That has a smug look on Ali's face. Oh. But guess what? The bomb went down, the galils are out, and the pressure is still on. <laughs> you can lose oh, it right yeah. here. You can lose it right here. Family folks. show. Family show. You can let it slip. Oh, an interesting smoke. And they're testing Ali. Ali's gone down. Empty handed on the A side. You're not dancing now. Not dancing at all. Not singing. Not laughing. In fact, you're screaming for help. Liaz has gone down to your kinder as well. The A side open. And so quickly it is. Is that a CT smoke? You've smoked yourself off of Temple. I guess it was deny that. Oh, it's deny them getting space at least. Dexter. If he gets one more, maybe there's a conversation to be had. Hang on, Inz has taken down Cade. Yeah, he rotated back. They've just negated the space over towards Temple. Sure, fighting through spawn, MP9 and an A1S. They have to biff, they have to brawl. The bomb, it can't get out of here. Smoke to give him some freedom. Mm, down as well to Yakinda. He's had a round here. Quad kill from Yakinda. This has been his map. Bit horny. The Latvian Johnny Sins just keeps on coming, Alex. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, four... In the round, he might even take the ace here. They, they probably think he's Temple. And now that Twist is clearing, they'll work out that he's probably Donut. Swing from Brokey, big box and close. And there you have it. Very well done. A great round from Liquid. You'd be happy with that one if you were Zeus, which I'm not. I did also really like that little lurk smoke they threw, like in front of the, the boost, tr the tree. Uh, this one, you can see them they're vying through just because it's going to make the... If you're playing default, you're nervous. And it did fall apart. You kind of played that and very well. And here's the money shot. Yeah. Hey! Great half. Actually, great map for you, kind He's a plumber. He's an astronaut. He's an entry fragger. Nice. Yeah, isn't that Chad? That's right. An IGL more than an entry fragger, but a boat, perhaps. Oh, I was... Always in first. No one else wanted to go. <laughs> Live B stream update. G2 overcomes 3D Max. 2 1. A labored series. And it's going to be a labored half for FlyQuest if they're going to stay alive. It'll be a short labor though, Yanko. Won't be keeping the nurses up all night. Not many contractions. Looking like it. But you never know. Those. This would count as a contraction. Bursts can be tricky, Chad. <laughs> Well, I do think that they've made the uh, wise call here because Dexter conceding that B lane control. Maybe he goes back and gets some answers. What are you meant to do though, right? You have a 5-7 in the hands of Liaz. He's playing out of position in Donut. They have a smoke and a molly, I guess, for CT and Sightbox. There's the smoke. The molly can follow. Inz is going to try and flash out Liaz, I suppose, but it's only Liaz. He has to get at least one. Bang! Too early, too early, premature. They're taking their time. Liaz. Oh, and his teammate have both been spotted. Down he goes. Kadian using that Max 10 mobility. In should be a dead man. Just oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? What? Kadian thought he finished him off. It's a little bit of a delay on that. That's crazy. They've worked it out. Well, oh, they've heard the CT rotate. And down he goes, Acadian, he made the call, he's won the round, and 11th for Liquid. They are very close to meeting Astralis on Friday. I wonder if there will just be, you know, when, or maybe a lot of you don't know, but if you're at a, at a workplace, maybe, Yanko, that'd be a good way to frame this, and you're, what your ex-girlfriend's around and you don't, you don't talk to him. I wonder if it'll be like that with the Kadian versus Stown and Yabby situation, or if there's still a bit of fire that exists beneath the belly and there's well, some jabs. You know, in our podcast, Chad, we heard from Stown, there are some regrets in how the situation exactly. was handled. Well, so you, what, so you think maybe he, an olive branch. 
Okay. It'll be extended. All right. Actually, you, that was I already feel like the olive branch. branch will be snapped in half, though, don't you? But yeah, that is uh, a possibility very I'm, much. KD and just using that as fuel. I think Liquid would get snapped in half, right? That's the expectation. Astralis have looked like um, significantly more well-rounded than the Liquid we've seen. Well, but we know who's doing better since the breakup. Yes. Yeah. They, uh, Astralis have hit the gym. They've definitely been looking swole. <laughs> swole. The USP stack worked out, and now you're actually dinked the, uh, Hold on. the second rifle. So I'm holding you. Hold on. That's the bomb in main. Two guns. Oh, that's an overextension. One gun. Two guns. Three guns. Four. Frag. Frag. One frag more if Inns can hit this. Oh, he's got no A. He's got no HP. He's a dead man. He's a dead. No! Oh! <laughs> Inns has nailed it. No armor, no health, no problem. He's pulled a miraculous fifth round out of the hat. That's two rounds within this map of Ancient that Flyer Quest have pulled out of their ass. It was the Deagles of Liaz and Dexter in the first half on the T side to crack open A, and this time it's an A again. There was a tank assembled. What? And they just flooded A main, overrunning skulls, picking up those rifles and warding them off in that tight choke point. When Liquid overplay their hand, they get in there, they just want to finish it. That's when they lose these rounds. They just need to slow it down. Unfortunately, Chad, just feels a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> I mean, it just, you know, it feels like there's no way yeah, that right. they make the full comeback. It would be right? insane. Like, it's a crazy round for Inns to, to find, right, to clutch for FlyQuest to steal away a USP eco. I mean, they won the pistol in a 2v5. He got four kills, but 11 5 down. They have to win this one, though. But we'll get you believing, Yanko. On map number one, FlyQuest mounted a comeback. On map number two, FlyQuest mounted a successful comeback. On, on map number three, they've got Liquid right where they want them. It's not a full buy. They can break them here and start comeback number three. Not to be confused with Mambo number five. And Kaden going for an AWP full nade instead of maybe going for an AK or a Galil and dropping an extra gun to one of his teammates. On the boost! Oh! Loses his life for it. Gotta be quicker than that. It was a full 10 bullet spray before he found the head of Cadian, but still taking him down. Takes the AWP out of the round, not the AWP. Nav wielding that now. Three rifles in the mix. This is a threatening round from Liquid, but no nades, really. Re Just the Molotovs, a reboost on a rifle. This could catch the CTs off guard. Ins and Dexter, they're trying to re-aggress. Now Twist is gonna Molotov you the forward position. Dexter! Dexter! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, playing with his life, playing with the flames, just about has a pathway the kid out. He's going to hear the steps. I know the flames were there, but he's likely to still hear the pitter patter of the feet. Dexter now dropping back, playing retake on the B setup. Now, the biggest issue right now for FlyQuest, they have kits, but no utility. If they give up the site, Team Liquid are actually in quite a strong position to snatch this away. There has to be an info play. They are now combing through middle. Liaz having a tough game. In combination with Inns. Have now got this mid space. Alistair's AWP completely out of play, and Dexter, he could just be blown over on 18 points of health. Yeah, he tries to spam in sync with the flash, doesn't get anything from it. The bomb will go down. A four versus three retake with kids present. This first frag is everything, and Nav's got the perfect weapon for the job. Dexter down. Liaz takes his place. Now would be the perfect time for Liaz to throw his hat in the ring. Take the, shot, take take the, the shot. shot, take the first. Can't hit the second. Nav's up. Looking to pick up the 12th. It falls apart immediately. And now it's up to Ali. What can you do? It's your can no! Another one for FlyQuest. Ali, a quick scope right when they needed it. They're just holding on. Fucking just holding hell. on. Oh, I can't quite believe how many rounds they've had on one map and the score still reads 11 6. But Yanko, do you buy again if you're liquid? No. Right, the, only one of them survived. No. Bomb went down. No. You know that you can break them here and win the game. Do no. you buy again? No, you need to trust your T side. I mean, liquid is very good on ancient. It's one of the maps where they first got a lot of reps in and some success. I like the timeout. You can talk it through. I think also you need a timeout. I mean, these rounds are starting to add up. Yeah. The pistol round, the eco, now the 1v2 from Alistair, right? Oh, they are buying. I don't like this, Chad. Maybe it's just a hero AK and a half buy. Let's see. I don't know why Kadian would have it. Look, all that. I'm saying is Yanka TL. Because yep. you don't need to win this game 13-6. You need to win this game. Yes. Right? And I don't think this is their best chance to win a buy round, right? Like, sure, if you win this... Actually, you can't even say you win the game because they've been losing ridiculous rounds as well. If I'm liquid, I want to make sure I have all my guns, everything. I mean, this is a 
forced by four guys, pistols and full utility and an AK on Cadian. It might Why? even be what? a B rush. It might even be a B rush here. Out the gate, all five members of Team Liquid starting to make their way over towards that side of the map. Just two to defend for now. Stalled them out with standard protocol utility over towards B. They're setting up the execute. Inns waiting for Vexite. They'll swing out cave together. This smoke slightly obscuring the view. They can put something on this. Twist is the one with the bomb. Twist is at the tail end of this one, and he's been spotted out, brought very low. Skulls as well, ears are ringing. Vexai not over committing. They are into the site but now. But they're boxed in. From every angle, one of the elements goes down. It's Dexter falls and spam from Vexite empty handed. Trying to just hit them through the boards. Okay, he's found a safe spot to plant. Inz and Liaz coming in from cave side. If they push Alistair, he cannot die. Ooh, good find. He's put skulls down. They are playing long and short, respectively. Smoke and kits are present. This would be, oh, a nasty miss from Ali. Naf with the drive by peak. It gets uncomfortable. Four fly quests now. They know where they are. It's an open plant. That's it. You should have it. There's no way for them to stop the defuse. It's going to be a seventh round for FlyQuest, although it gets a little sketchy. The round is theirs. Okay. Well, Lee has walked away from the round with a Mac 10. <laughs> what? Nice. What? I guess he couldn't find a rifle. The, he had an MP9, so I guess he was hoping that he's going to pick up something better, but ended up with a Mac 10. Well, now I've scavenged the AWP, which is now in the hands of Cadian and, and, and not in the hands of Alistair. And also, I mean, this is yet another buy from Liquid, okay, behind the saved op and AK, but still, you know, there's a Galil in there. Hey, this is a better buy. They almost, almost everyone has full utility. And this is the last timeout for Liquid as well. Yeah. That's it. They're under pressure. The type of rounds that they've lost, I'm sure, are ones that they want to forget. FlyQuest are the ones who have been uh, pulling some crazy moments out of their ass. It's never too late for Vexai and Liaz to activate. Just all of their rounds. Remember yeah. the pistol they yeah, won? Yeah. Just to get in? They should, you should never, never have had that. Like, again, you're kind of picking Alistair in the one-on-one. -on -one. Inns winning that duel and Liquid rushed it by all funneling in towards a main. Oh, they've been given so many gifts here. And this will start, the cracks will begin to show in Team Liquid's mental, or will they? I mean, that is the question. Stay tuned to find out. Looks like they want to fight middle. Jane Flash. Cadian gets himself away. Trying to chase him down with a lot of HEs. You hear them sounding off one after the other. A main space, you're kind of clearing. Alistair needs to be safe on the jiggle. Now he has a molly, right? Just play for the shadow, drop the molly, high tail it, then play with Liaz, who, remember, only has this Mac 10. They're going to boost him? The boost in. He should be all right. Molly. Fingertips. There Molly. it is. Reposition. Okay, well, they don't have any B lane space. It's now outside the doors. You may as well leave somebody in A main to apply some pressure. They don't have mid control, but they have a couple of smokes, a couple of flashes. They can go for late mid control. But they didn't, they didn't apply it enough or, or early enough even from the side of Liquid. So Dexter still has that smoke, shoulder peeking on B. I think FlyQuest can be fine here if they just stay composed. I just hate this MAC-10 on Liaz. What's he meant to do? Unless he's up close. Sacrifice himself, he has two kills. Bait for his teammates. Be the bait. They're going back to B. That might not be the warrior anyway. This block smoke Yanko was talking about, if Dexter deploys it now, it, it would be perfect. He doesn't even need to wait seconds. for the contact. 30 seconds, it's the perfect time. Oh, okay, just as they throw out their own utility as well. So what your options are. They have a flash, are. they have a flash to go through. Has to be flash and push. Here they come, through the smoke. Need more from Dexter and Inns. Just they save, hold boys. Hold the fire, hold the line, and take them down. Nothing here for Liquid. You see, this is why I hate all these buys. It's like, you you know, rounds don't work out. Okay, this buy seems fine in a way, but you're spending so many rounds. Like, you're saving, then there's going to be another mixed buy now. A couple of guys with MAC-10s, you know, it's... Almost better if you just just take one half pie, and then next round everyone has everything. By the way, Lee, as as that hit was coming in, went to push a main. There was a lurker there who killed him. <laughs> so well, at least now he can buy a rifle. Yeah, buys, a, <laughs> buys an all for Alistair. They swap it out. To be fair, one of Liaz's Deagle kills did result in a T-side round. They didn't have many of them, right? So if we're looking at pure impact of conversion to kill... Yep. Look, we Bro, definitely Liquid's, want more output. Liquid is losing it. Like, here's oh, another no buy. Yeah. Here's another buy where there's scored. just a Deagle. There's a Galil in there. We don't have all of our nades, right? You don't have timeouts. You can't organize the round quickly. Now you need to think about who's dropping for who. What are, what's our opening going to be? It's getting difficult. Oh, Ali, oh, oh, oh. Playing with fire on that oh, They ball. heard you, Kinder. 
Get out of there, boys. Get out of there, quick smart. Still taking so much damage. Vexite to the rescue. He's pushed the smoke and he's owning. Takes down Skulls as well. Twist is underneath him, but Naf has been cleared out. This is a powerful round from FlyQuest. Cadian pushing smokes into what Vexite. What is he doing? Only Twist. He's going to be hard cleared. That's a third for Liaz. FlyQuest. Every time Liquid try and buy, they are being sent back to spawn with nothing. They yeah. are unraveling in front of our eyes. Why is he walking through that smoke? The round's already done in middle. Now you'll have buy, <laughs> surely, right? But what's going to happen now? Now you're going to have buy. It's going to be 11-10. Instead oh of it my. being 11-6. And you having way more rounds to play with. Well, there's now the pressure is on the side of Team Liquid. Why, what's Katie doing? Good question. Oh, <laughs> Wait, to B rush again. All right, here we go. Strap it. Oh, he's got his nades in his hands. Dex has been dinked. This is awkward. This is very, very, very awkward. He's done well. He's done very well. Heads up Counter-Strike, baby. Just through the edge of the smoke. They're going to be planting right in front of him. He's got five bullets. He pushes through, goes down, but his teammates do the rest. Plant denied. Heavy lifting from Dexter, despite the early dink on the drive-by. This half buy from Liquid has sent them absolutely s immediately back to spawn. I'm really disliking the, the calls here in terms of the buys as well as why don't you just, just chill? You don't need to win this half buy. You need to stabilize your half. You need to find a way to win two more rounds, right? Like why are you rushing B again and into all this chaos? Yeah. Your, your players just sit are... and talk. Do a French yeah. uh, round, right? Yes, Do a, exactly. a French eco. Yeah. Just sit there. The stress keeps setting on. You have no timeouts. You need to use that as a timeout. Look, in the last four rounds of play, there's only been five kills out of Team Liquid. And that's how the game started for FlyQuest. No frags. You've, well, they've had to fight hard to get back in this. They've had to convert opportunities. Liquid have given them exactly that. They have gone for the all-in. No, you're not doing Four it, smoke you? opener. Ali's been Dexter's pushing again. Oh! Oh, that's a messy one from Vexite. Yakinda turns around, finds the frag and opening kill for Liquid. They're middle through Donut. They're going to fight for space. This is it for FlyQuest. This is the fight. In spots out, Twist. Twist destroys him with the spray transfer. Dex is about to do the same. One by one. Where's the trade potential? It's a 12th round looming as Alistair tries his hardest to fight. Tooth and nail for this B-side. Bomb is coming. Three T's barreling towards him. He's got nades in his hands as he goes down. A flawless Team Liquid round after what felt like this relentless run from FlyQuest. Six rounds on the trot. Liquid finally break their side. I don't to think we need to see it, but we should see it from Vexa to POV again if we can. Yeah, I think also Lia should try to find a couple of kills here. Damage? Yeah, exactly. Because if they're in a situation where they can win the next round, you want to make it so that Liquid doesn't have a full buy in the final round of the half. Because here, if they're all five alive, they'll have that. And yeah, that was unfortunate for Vexite. Really would have turned the table on that round with that frag. He did it in the previous. I'm surprised to see him go for it again. Well, not the previous, in the last gun round. Uh, that but one is... Kinder stands firm. Yeah, he's had, he's had a great map. Him, Naf, Skulls as well. 22 for Yakinda, 21 for Naf. I understood map control and something about a tree? No, map control and then freeze, and I freeze. think is what he said, because probably what they saw is that, you know, FlyQuest will react, they will re-aggress somewhere to try to find information, and then you, know, you can plan around basically just by punishing them from doing that. I don't like the timeout from FlyQuest, to be honest. Yeah, it's given the momentum over Because now, you lost the round just from Vexite kind of failing the kill, and then, okay, a, a little bit messy on the re-aggress, but that stuff happens. The pressure is still in a way on Team Liquid. Like, yeah. sure, they're in the lead, but it's 12-10. You're back into this game after they've been running you over. They already fumbled the bag on Anubis. Yeah. Just from a momentum side of things, maybe not great. But hey, if he has like a really call that he sees, if he has a solution to deliver them this round, then by all means, go for it. Well, this is the way you want to see a round like this go down, Alex. Full buys for both teams. Diffuse kits, full nades, everything you want for round number 23. Red, elbow, cave. They are going to hold your kinder at the progression. Lane Molly respected. They're going to push. It looks like it, doesn't it? A Molotov lined up by Ali. In San Diego, to be specific. Ram. Oh, no. Full him, flash. Him. He couldn't get out. Vexite's blocked Dexter's retreat off the flashbang of Cadian. 
And they used the molly over towards pocket anyway, but didn't have the aggressive maneuver. Dexter offers up his life and now has to watch on and try and micromanage the Puppet Master in a 4v5 disadvantage for their playoff life. So the mid is the gap. You can see that that's going to be Liao's task with tending to it. We smoke cave, slows down the crawl. Molly misses on towards default. That would have been the ideal. gambling B. The gambling B. They're pivoting A. They're pivoting A. Yeah. Well, now you need to aggress. If you've gone for the B stack, you need to play for some info. They've rotated ins over towards A. It's a good smoke donut from ins. That's where they want to come. Oh, he's playing in front of it. They're going to clear it. He's in the open. He's dead. A 13th imminent for Liquid. Heroics. Liaz. Dexite finding Naf is a good start. This three versus five. Ali coming in from Temple. Liaz holds on CT. Spamming the smoke. Flash doesn't find him. Alistair posted on Temple. Vexite trying to find a way in through Donut, but that is where the majority of Liquid occupy. And it's Cadian Zor perfectly positioned to collect the frag. FlyQuest attempted a heroic comeback in the third map of this playoff game. The Aussies coming up just a little bit short. 12-10, soon to be 13. Liaz run down and Liquid. They secure the quarterfinals here in Malta. They will have the opportunity to face off up against Astralis. The FlyQuest just narrowly, narrowly slipping through their fingers. I think that the start to that Ancient really put them in a very deep hole. Yeah, it really killed them, Alex. You know what they say, you can't win the game in the first half, but you can lose the game in the first half. <laughs> I like that. And despite